and you're going to want to follow the athlete <coughs> into the spider. So kind of like that. Okay, and yeah, top and bottom does seem to work well. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think you bring it to the, to the start. Into the spider. And then as soon as they're in the spider, uh, we'll transition to her camera at the back of the spider. There it is. Hello everyone, I'm Philip Scott, and today we have
Hello everybody, welcome to day two of the tier two World Ninja League Championships. I'm Philip Scott. <laughs> Apologies, just trying to get my bearings together. Here's Mitchell Boyer. We're starting with the teen males today. Oh! Yeah, obstacle three is that the holds thing. This is obviously a harder version of last week, or yesterday's. <laughs> Course. Oh, so close there. All right, so how this format is going to work, it's going to work, if you weren't here yesterday, it's going to work a lot like yesterday. So we have the flow, a flow course, and then a full course. We also have skills. Um, this is the flow course. It's a minute and a half. It's a lot like a stage one style course. You've seen our championships before. Minute and a half, seven obstacles. It's all very much like Lachey agility style and then the full course is a bit more like a stage two stage three ish anyway here's ethan alexander how's he gonna do let's see it's out of austin inches you can see lulu moore on his sideline he goes through onto the spider walk making his way through now onto the flywheels Gotta gather up that momentum. Lachey's the second one. Gotta eye up that dismount. And he's through. Onto the holds. Got T ledge, a disc, egg, and a couple other things. Through the spinning log. Onto the pipe coaster. Up to that donut. Or that pumpkin, mind you. 15 seconds left for the last obstacle. Can you do it? Waxing is sounding. And he does it! Ooh, less than two seconds left. And he is our first finisher. Okay, next up we have Van Boom, starting out with shrinking steps, going careful, making sure he doesn't slip up early. Now for the spider walk, we can either use the rope or the spider walls itself, themselves. He decides to use just the spider walls, moving through. Minute left on the time as he heads to the flywheels. In that swing, and he statics the second one. That's a pretty big reach. Careful on the dismount. Make sure you don't overshoot. Under the holds. This one's the nunchuck. We got a nice dismount. Thirty about thirty seconds left as he heads to the rolling log. Oh, caught him off guard there. Gotta be light on your feet. It's gonna keep going. Oh, 
up onto the pipe coaster. See if he can catch this pumpkin. And he does. Time's gonna run out, but good effort by Van. Good effort by Van as we take a look at our run order. We've got about 10 more teens and then we'll be moving right on to the young adults. Next, here's Beckett Gum out of Windsor Ninja Academy. I know the Ninja Academies of the Northeast have had a pretty big contingent come out here from all the way to Texas onto the spider walk. He's going to static these flywheels. Nice landing, staying smooth, keeping dead hanging right here, saving a little energy. Oh, slips off right there. Now he's got to go for the spinning log. Quick feet. Oh, so close. Climbing up onto the pipe coaster. Oh, tries to reach for it, slides off. Good run, Beckett. Alright, next we got Logan Rayo out of Empire Ninja. They also traveled quite a bit to get over here. He's going pretty fast off the shrinking steps now onto the sp spider walk. Moving through with the rope onto the flywheels. See, is he gonna do the lache or the static? He's gonna do the static. Ooh, good reach there. Good save, good save. He was already past the plane, so he, I think he's allowed to kind of use the tr truss. But now we're onto the holds. Oh, slips off there. <laughs> now we're on to the spinning log. Nice work. Really quick feet. That's what you gotta do. Climbing your way up the big angled pole. And coming down onto the pipe coaster. That pumpkin. Oh, just didn't time it quite right. Nice run, Logan. Alright, next we got Jack Magnuson out of Axios. Just saw Abel Gonzalez filming him. It's a lot of we've had also had a lot of Axios athletes this weekend. He goes on the steps, nice and quick, and use the rope. Decides to opt for the whole spider, no rope needed. Uh, the flywheels, I think he can reach these. Looks like he's got a. Big wingspan. Really quick. Still over a minute left. Plenty of time to finish. Here he goes. Nunchuck and dismount. Now we're onto the spinning log. Ooh, two strides. Only two strides needed. 
tons of time left onto the pipe coaster. Oh, overshot it. He had the technique. Nice work, Jack. That was a smooth run. He did, but that was a great run. So we got another Austin Ninjas athlete. We have Clay Peter Shagan. Lulu back on the sidelines for him. All right. Here we go, onto the shrinking steps, skips the first one, skips the last one, onto the spider walk. I think we're going to see a lot of the taller athletes opt to not use the rope. We go onto the flywheels and quick dismount. Fastest time so far, I think, to this point. He's moving through. Nice and smooth through. Quick strides through the spinning log, and now he has 40, 45 seconds on the pipe coaster. Plenty of time here. Nice timing, and he catches it. Now for the last holds. Last obstacle here. Will he be our first finisher? Either going to reach or try to lache this. Oh, good grab. Good reflexes. On the last couple of holds here, we got a cannonball, and a banana, dismount, and he clears. Nice work. 20 seconds left. Let's look at our... Oh, <laughs> wrong one. Let me, <laughs> let me switch that over. That was last yesterday's. Doing a few things at once, but... Hopefully I'm doing a good job of commentary. <laughs> Next we have Owen Danley out of Motive. Who's also coaching and that's something you see a lot with Ninja is if if your coach isn't there, there's always someone to coach you. Alright. Here goes Owen on the spider. Gotta plant those feet. There he goes. Hopped in for the normal spider, using the rope a little bit, making his way through. Alright, now onto the flywheels. Stacking the first one. Second one's a little farther. Oh, just misses Lachey. He goes onto the T-ledge now. Moving through the holds. Get that grip. Oh. Alright. Moving on over to the spinning log. Can he make it? Nice work. Good footwork. Up climbing up this steep pipe. And you gotta go down the coaster. This is something that's become a staple in our tier 1 stage 1s as well. This pipe coaster, can you get the catch? Oh, just misses it. Run, get the button. Ah, oh, <laughs> nice work, Owen. Alright, next we have Nathan. 
goes up into the spider walk. He's using the rope. Nice and quick. Linking them. Smooth this out. Goes up into the holds. Looking very controlled. Nice and smooth over to the spinning log. Practically walks through it. Nice work. Up onto the pipe coaster. 45 seconds left. Gotta time this. Ooh, nice high grab. Alright. Now for the last couple holds. Oh, what a save. Here we go. Last swing to the dismount. He's going to have the fastest time so far. Nice work, Nathan. Thumbs up to the camera. Nice work. Next we got Bryce Hopkins out of Ninja Mania from Connecticut. Another great East Coast gym we have represented here. Here we go. Let's go, Bryce. On to Spider Walk. Classic ninja obstacle. Right into flywheels. Nice little link. Eyes is dismount. Now onto the holds. Moving his way through, skips the nunchuck, nice and controlled. Takes a deep breath, goes for the spinning log, and he makes it. Shimming his way up the pipe, onto the pipe coaster. He to oh, just misses his timing. Nice run, Bryce. Alright, next we got Ryan out of Austin Ninjas. Take a quick look at our run order, or a leaderboard rather. So you can see we've had three finishers so far. Still got a few runners to go. in this division. Alright, let's go Ryan. Smooth through the shrinking steps. Moving through the spider walk with the rope. Linking through, looking smooth. Moving out of the holds. Dismounting from the cannonball. Right into the spinning log. Climbing up into the pipe coaster. Gotta time this. Oh, nice work. Nice awareness, nice save. Now, little hop over to the trapeze. Flying! Fastest time, nice work. 54 seconds. Take a look at our leaderboard. Yeah, he's our only sub minute finisher so far, nice work. Another Austin Ninjas athlete up next. We got Travis, that's the son of Jennifer, our owner. Uh, thank you so much, Jennifer, for and everybody from Austin Ninjas for helping host this.
being gracious, being gracious enough to host our event. They set up a really nice course here this weekend. Here we go, out of the shrinky steps, right into him. <laughs> I like how his shirt says Hall of Fame Ninja. Nice on there. Moving through with the rope. Staticking. Ooh, one arming him. Nice work. Onto the holds. He's gonna skip one. He's gonna pull through. I think he's gonna dismount here, and he does. Moving through the spinning log effortlessly. Ooh, keeps his legs up. Last couple holds here. Just gotta be smooth, no mistakes. Nice work, fastest time so far. Travis Halla, great run. Alright, we got a couple runners left, but as you can see, we've had five finishers so far. <laughs> Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you just got here, I'm Philip Scott. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm running the stream and everything, and do a little commentary for you, hopefully. Let me know if I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Next we got Matthew McGilvray. He's our last team, male, and then I think we're going to move over to the full course for the teens, and then we'll alternate like that between the divisions. Here we go. On the steps. Opting to use the rope to get himself set. Here he goes. Using the rope a little too. Moving on to the flywheels. I think he's going to static this one. Yep, <laughs> he's got the wingspan. Looks like he's out of Empire Ninja. It's in the New York area. Nice gym, that's Noel Reyes's. Moving on to the holds. Grabbing the egg, then the cannonball, then the nunchuck. Oh! Just slipped off there. Out of the spinning log. Just trips up, moving on. Ooh, ouch. Must have hit his shin a little bit. He's moving on. I get up this pipe coaster. Time this up on the pumpkin. Oh, jumps a little late. Hit that button. Good effort, Matthew. Moving right into the young adults, actually. Yeah, it looks like he busted his shin a little bit. Probably bruised it a little. Hopefully, he's okay. Now we're on to Carson for young adults. Moving right through, so we're gonna do all 13 plus. Full, all 13 plus males flow course. Then we'll have all 13 plus males flow, full course, rather. So we're gonna do all of them in a row for this course, and then all of them in a row for the next course. And then, uh, then we'll be doing the same thing with the 13 plus females. So they'll be running the flow course, then the full course later on today. Carson's <laughs> making short work of this course. Good save there on the spinning log. Go onto the pipe coaster. Good timing. 
nice and easy. Looking smooth. Moving through on the handles. Reaching out for the cannonball. Nice and smooth here, and he'll be our first finisher for the young adult males. Nice work, Carson. Alright, next we got Leo Hearing. Words are hard, I agree. And ready to roll. Pull up young adult male leaderboard. Alright. Here we go. Often use mostly the rope, kind of kicking side to side on the spider walk. Interesting technique, that actually seemed kind of faster. Moving on, staticking through. Nice work. <clears throat> Moving on to the holds. Making good time so far. Out of the spinning log. Ooh, stops himself just in time. Plenty of time left. Gotta time out this jump to the pumpkin. And he makes it. Gathering up his swing, getting that momentum onto the handles. Makes it. Last two static grabs. Just needs to breathe and focus and he'll be on through. Matches there, matches there, dismount, and clear. Nice work. About 20 seconds left. Yep. Both finishers are actually been pretty similar on time. Next we got Benjamin Rochlitz. For our young adults. The young adults are 15 to 17 years old. There go the beep beep beeps and he's onto the shrinking steps. Moving up, getting the set into the spider walk. Opting to use the rope for his hands. I like obstacles like this that let you kind of choose your own path. Make you choose your own strategy. Staticking through the flywheels. Moving through the holds. Nice and high, keeping those L's. Hopping right through the spinning log. 45 seconds left up onto the pipe coaster. Yeah, time that backswing and pop. Nice pop. Alright. Moving on to the handle. That little hop can be deceivingly tough. Because you got to really regenerate your momentum once you get onto it. He's swinging right through. And he's our fastest finisher. Minute seven. You can see... Three for three for the young adults. They're making short work of this course. Nice work, gentlemen. Alright, next we got Lucas Holman. I could be mistaken, but I think he's out of Germany, because I think he has a shirt from a German Ninja League. It's looking smooth. Stacking through. Nice work.
moving through the holds, nice and controlled, not rushing. <coughs> Two step in the spinning log, up to the pipe coaster, 50 seconds left, fastest time to this point. Big backswing, ooh, good time in there. Last hop here. Now just swing through the last two. Destroyed the course. Nice run, Lucas. 54.22 so far. Our fastest time by what? 13 seconds? <laughs> Lion. All right, here we go. We got Brennan Ramsey. All right, here we go. Brenner G Ninja, the shirt says. Is that a false start? I think, I think the buzzer might have, I think something might, somebody might have accidentally pressed something. <laughs> kind of a false start. <laughs> All good. Yeah. <coughs> Just gotta keep, take a deep breath, reset. Here we go. For real this time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Through your shrinking steps. Very smooth through the spider walk. Looks like he's done a spider walk or two. That was very nice. Jumping right into the holds. There we go. Moving right through. Onto the pipe coaster with almost a, over a minute left. 50 seconds left, hopping onto the last little lache. Two more holds. Man, these young adults just keep on one-upping each other. He gets the fastest time. Nice work. Jeez. All right, next up, we got Kane Malden. I've known this kid for a long time. Good to see him out here. He's competing in the real world now. We used to we used to do a lot of ninja courses on Roblox. <laughs> but he's been training hard at Motive. Such a great gym out there. Here we go, onto the steps. Don't want to mess that up. Being careful. Moving on through the spider walk. Using the rope. Minute left as he moves onto the spider walk. Or <laughs> moving onto the flywheels. Moving through. Static this one does iron up the dismount good landing using that chalk bag under the holds dismounting from here can he make it and he does 
All right, spinning log. Quick, quick, quick. Oh. I have a little faster feet for that. Sometimes it can keep you... It, sometimes it can take you by surprise just how much it actually spins, because you see some people, like, just such light feet. And be deceiving. It's moving through. Hit the button. There you go. Nice work, Kane. All right, here's our last young adult male. And we'll be moving on to the adults, as you can see, and then we'll be moving on to the masters. Here we go. Did it shift at all? It was balanced once upon a time. Yeah. Here we go, Mark Verma onto the spider walk. Moving on through. The flywheels links the second one and dismount. Out of the holds. Nice and smooth. Alright, about 45 seconds left. Moving on to the rolling log. Quick feet here. Don't overthink it too much. Nice work. Pipe. Now down the coaster. Ah! Oh, I don't think he mo had his momentum back enough before the th throw. But nice work. That was a close one anyway. Really close call. Good run. Now we're moving on to the adults. Oh, actually, we're doing teen. Okay, I think we're actually doing teens and young adults, and then switching. Yep, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing, so as you can see, we got teens running full course next, then young adults, and then we'll go adults masters. Wasn't quite sure how we we're going to do the run order here, but I think we know now. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, you're here. Thanks for tuning in. This is the World Ninja League Tier 2 Championships in Austin, Texas, at Austin Ninjas. Great gym. Hold on. I'm, I'm doing a bit of the, uh, I'm doing the live graphics too, so give me a second. I can pull up our little, our little screensaver, if you will. Commentating as I do this. <laughs> There we are. So let's take a quick look at our... As you can see, here's our young adult males. 
They just kept on one-upping each other with the time. Brennan Ramsey in first place with a 47.2. Then Lucas Holman out of Germany, 54. Benjamin, Leo, and Carson also finished. And we had Mark and Kane as well. And let's take a quick look at, go over our team's leaderboard. We see we had a few five finishers as well for the teens. Travis Hall, our fastest time there. We had Ryan Denny, Nathan Cox, Clay Peter Shagan, Ethan Alexander finishing out for the teens. We're just getting ready right now for the full course. We're on this little screensaver here because we're just moving the cameras real quick. And we'll be right back to the action. Just a few minutes.
we're just going to get started in just a little bit here with the full course. As you can see, here's the run order. Same run order as the flow course. Full course the format is a bit different. There's a obstacle score and a difficulty score. And every obstacle counts. So if you mess up early, you gotta keep your head in the game, keep going, because who knows, you might you might just pull out the win. Full course is a bit longer than the, uh, in time, than the uh, flow course. I think it's about the same amount of obstacles. I think it's eight obstacles. Um, but each obstacle is a bit longer, a bit more taxing.
All right. Welcome back. We should be starting very soon. All right. And we are back. Full course, like I said during the break, a bit longer than the flow course. More taxing obstacles. Here we go. Starting off with the box. Oh, he pulls it back. Oh, just sl slips off. Moving on to the far into the devil steps. Now onto the cliffhanger. His yesterday had to use the other side. This one has more undulations, more ups and downs. Moving on to the laches. The first one, second one, and the last one pops right down to the dismount, nice and smooth. Controlled balance, the shaking balance beam, then a little hop to this that little little pad right there. Out of the landing. Now we're onto the tilting spine. I really like this obstacle. Really tests your grip and your core. Nice and smooth with your core to get through this. Dismounting off the second last one. Last one, it makes it tilt, so. <laughs> Good idea to dismount from the middle. You can. Now into the sideways, but the sides of the sideways are in play, and he just misses it. The trade off of using the forward grab is. It's a pretty wide grip, as you saw there. Next, down to the propellers. This was actually in stage one of the tier tier one world championships last year, and he finishes. That's a pretty fast run. Finish six of the eight obstacles. Nice work there. Run to Ethan. Out of Austin inches. Lulu does the cool pose. Ethan doesn't. <laughs> so much easy. Not my leg though. So. As you can see, they do the, the adults are doing the skills right now. Here goes Ethan onto the full course. Through the box, no problem. Now the shimmy into the devil steps. Matching on each one. Quick moves. Moving on to the cliffhanger. Little big up moves here. Get up that one. This ledge seems pretty small right here. Moving on to the last little block. Or the dismount. One handing it off there. Nice work. It goes through the laches. Last one right here. Right to the dismount. Right through balance. 
Tons of time left. Big move up. And it's going to tilt a tiny bit. Kind of swivels too. We tried to preload for the dismount there. But he sticks it. On the sideways boards. Gonna try to do the front grab. The sideways grab. Personally, I prefer the side, and that's what he's gonna do. Takes a little bit more reaction time, but oh, I just missed it. Trade off there. Like I said, for the forward is wider grip, so it's a little trickier to catch and like see where you're catching. But then the sideways grab, the tricky part is as he finishes the course. Nice work. Really smooth through the propellers. But as I was saying about the choice on the sideways grabs, when you go on the side, you have to do a bit more like quick reflexes, like grabbing under. So you kind of have to decide what one works for you. Matt, is there a Matt? An adult male Matt? You're supposed to be running. Right next, we got Van Boom. Here we go. Van is off. Ready for. Ooh, nice little Kong vault there. Nice and smooth. Through the bar. On the devil steps. Moving on to the cliffhanger. Keep a nice rhythm here. Keep moving. Get that pull up. There you go, nice match. Two more ledges. Pull through. Commit to that dismount. And he's got it. Now onto the laches. Catches the first one, two more to go. Goes one more. Minute 20 left on the clock, and he sticks it. All right, nice through the balance. Still clean run this point. It's tilting a little bit. You just gotta commit to that grab. Oh, so close. Yeah, you gotta commit to it when it's about to tilt a little bit. Just kind of shift your weight. Anyway, he's onto the sideways. Oh, close. Closest one yet. Closest attempt yet on the sideways laches. Once you get the first one down, then the second one isn't as bad. Moving his way through. Propellers. Get that ring. Get out of there. Onto this mount. And hit the buzzer. Nice work, man. Good stuff. All right. Next here's Beckett out of Windsor Academy. Windsor Ninja. Windsor Ninja Academy. I need to take a sip of water. <laughs> here goes Beckett. Kicks the box down. Right through to the devil steps. Nice slide wingspan. Skipping a couple steps and right to the dismount. Now he's onto the cliffhanger. As I said earlier, the key to cliffhanger is just to keep your momentum going. Oh, it just slips off that pull up. 
We're on to Lachey's. Oh, I just missed the timing a little bit. Wow, thank you. Here we go. Out of the bounce. Ooh, nice and quick through the balance. Best as anyone so far. Pull up here. Just to try to kip. Oh, so close. Now we're moving on. The sideways grab. Nobody's gotten through this yet. He opts for the forward technique. Got a good swing going. Can you get it? Oh, close one. Where are you going? Grab the nose of it. All right. Now for the propellers. He has. He's got a big reach, so. Oh, I just missed the timing there. Good effort, Beckett. Now we're moving on. To Logan Rayo out of Empire Ninja. Good save, good awareness getting back to that box. Nice work. Sometimes it's hard to add the wherewithal when you're nervous, ready for a comp run to remember that you can use a reset. Nice and smooth through the double steps. Jumps out to the second cliffhanger ledge. Uh, just has to reverse. Keep that rhythm. Oh, just slipped off. Momentum pulled him back just a bit too much. He's moving on to the Lachey's. What I really like about this whole course format is that even if, you know, like he messed up the cliffhanger, but next thing you know, keep your head down, keep moving. Every point counts. Moving on to the balance. I commit to it. It's wobbling a lot. Making short work of it. Nice job. Just missed it there. On the spine. X for the sideways. I think if anybody gets through this, it'll be worth a lot of points. Because nobody's beaten it. Oh, so close. Yeah, both hands on it. Remember, grab the nose, the tip of it. I know they look like they're Reach around. I think he can reset on this. He's up and go around one more time. Reach out. He gets it. Got that ring. Got that poser. Nice work. Good stop. Alright. Next we got... I think Jack's up next. I think the run order... I'm in a little difficulties right now. Yeah, Jack's next. Be sure. Yeah, as we get the name sorted out, uh, up right now is Jack Magnuson out of Ag Axios. Right. Uh, 
getting a clarification with the ref. As you can hear in the background, we got the skills going. All right, here we go. Out of the box, push. Tries to push it with just one hand. Gets the momentum back. Nice little hop over. Even quick through the devil steps. Now he's moving on to the cliffhanger. Moving on. Two more ledges. Keep moving. All right. Onto the dismount. Last ledge is a little bit bigger, so it's a bit of a safe zone, and he makes it through. Man, some of those ledges in the middle there are pretty thin. On two. Lachaise. Ooh, he's gonna try to link. Oh, I could tell by the way he was setting up his hips. Nice work there. I'm sure that's something he works on a lot with Coach Abel right there. Dax moved through the bounce. Can he save it? Oh, he's got it. Good awareness. Skip into the middle of the tilting spine. That was actually a good right. move there. Hey, there you go. Nice lock and smart. In, in. There you go. All right, one arm, right? Two, Stay in the front. Couple more in the wheels. Front. All right, big kick, kick, and then let go. You're fine. You're fine. Dismount right here. There he goes. Nice work. Plenty of time here. If he makes it through the side, the sideways little chase, he's going to be in a really good position to get first place in the full course. Oh, and he catches the first one on the front. Lock it in, lock it in. The front grab. Nice work. Get out of there. He's our first one through there. Go look at the clock. Go. Under the propeller. Oh, so close. Great work, Logan. Or Jack, mind you. Oh, so close. Great run, though. Should be proud of that one. First one through that obstacle. I think you had the wrong name. What name did you just have running? But he said Logan. Yeah, nice work, Jack. Oh, yeah. Never said Jack. You can hear they're, <laughs> they're trying to clarify that. The name thing. The name got messed up, but I caught it. It's all good. I'm going to fix it. Anyway, we're on to Clay now. We're in the Lulu shirt. Yeah. Someone belly flopped yesterday. They literally, I'm dead serious, they belly flopped and then they like, lay them down and I was like, hey, it worked though, right? Uh, Lulu has some dance moves for us. Alright, yeah, we have fixed the names. All good now. On to AP Shagan. Nice work. Very quick run so far. Keeping those arms bent on the cliffhanger. Those pull ups. Already onto the last sledge. And quick dismount. That's us to this point, I'm pretty sure, so far. A lot of these obstacles, as I said, are a bit longer than the flow course ones, so... All your points can be made by going fast, faster on like a lot of longer obstacles, like the cliffhanger. Anyway, through the lache is no problem. Onto the tilting spine. Already to the middle. A couple more. Now just wheels. Oh, just slipped off. So close there. 
Yeah, those wheels, obviously there's the big center part, so it's a little bit of precision there. Just missed it. Ooh, tried going forward to side. Almost got it. Minute left for the propellers. Finish off strong here, Clay. Spins around. Used to go around one more time. Reaches. Nice momentum there. And good finish, Clay. Very quick run. I believe those are some... Is that a Fortnite dance? I don't know. I'm out of the loop. I'm too old. Let's take a look at our full leaderboard so far as you see. Any questions on the course? Had two guys beat seven of the eight obstacles. Let's see if Owen could be our first full finisher. Eight of eight. Belly flops onto that platform. Nice job. Jimming through. Moving down the devil steps. Keep that rhythm. There he is. Nice work. Now for the cliffhanger. Oh, it just slides off the last the second one. Moving on through the laches. Through to the laches. Ah. I think his grip might be pretty taxed from the devil steps moving through there. Nice work on the balance, though. Oh, his foot touch. Keep going, though. Every obstacle counts. First pull up, second one. Big dynamic pull up here, but it's tilted. Come on, you got this, man. Come on. Oh. Now we're under the sideways boards. Big kick. Ah. No worries. Moving on through to the last obstacle propellers. Finish off strong. Yeah. This one. This one's as much about timing as it is about grip strength. Honestly, I think timing's the bigger factor here. Let's see if he can get it. Oh. Move. We get it around one more time. Get that reach. Oh, the other one's spinning. Oh, fingertips on. Good effort, Owen. Is he going to do another Fortnite dance? No, he's just going to sit and re recover. <laughs> All right, next we got Nathan Cox. Not sure what gym this is. Somebody in the comments knows, let me know. Oh yeah. It was funnier when you were running back, back and forth, over and over. Back. <laughs> All right, Coach Lou on the sidelines again. Actually, that might be his own shirt. I don't know. Let me know. Alright. Here we go. Out of the box push. Resets. And throws it up as we have a little bit of camera difficulties. And we're back. Nice little hops there on the bar. Really quick shimmy. Already done with the devil steps. Moving on through to the cliffhanger.
nice grip strength here. One more ledge to go, and then the dismount. Good pull through. All right, under the laches. Seen one person link it so far, and he's linking them. Floating through the air, nice work. Now for the balance. Barely even tilting. Lots of control. Skips the last little platform there. Now onto the tilting spine. All right, Nate is from Iron Sports, and it is his own shirt. Thanks for letting me know. Iron Sports, one of the OG gyms of this of Ninja, been around for over a decade. Very smooth through there, one handing it off of the wheels. Going for the four technique on the boards. Nice catch. Oh, that pinky almost slipped, but he saves it. One more jump for him. Nice work. Our second guy to be through. Also, oh, no. Overshot the dismount. Oh, still, what a great run. So strong. And that puts him in first place right now. I've definitely had that happen before in competitions. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Still, what a great run. Next we got Bryce out of Ninja Mania. Ready to push out that box. Uh, there we go. Moving on through the bar and the devil steps. Nice and smooth. Out of the cliffhanger. Got to push the, uh, the clear button there. Oh, just slid off. All right, onto Lachey's. Oh, right into it. Very good. Moving on to the balance. the balance now onto the tilting spine it's such a unique obstacle i love it it's a modified version of the thing we had at worlds last year nice pull through now let's see what technique goes for here just like the spider walk in the first course kind of choose your own adventure on this one forward or sideways oh Almost gets it there. I finish off strong. Ooh, good reach. Right to the edge. Oh, just whips the ring. Good work. Yeah, we'll get that fixed in post. If we, uh, we'll get that sorted out. The standings. Yeah, I think we already got it sort of sorted out. I see it says he's needed five now. Alright, next up we got Ryan. From Austin Ninjas. Here we go. 
All right. Here he goes right onto the box. No problem. He's going for speed here. Right into the cliffhanger after the double steps. Pull up. Nice. It's the last pull up ledge. Two more and dismount. One arms it. Looking strong here. Fastest time so far, I think. Linking these. Nice. Wow. Free, free, free. He knows what he's got to do to win. Wipe it in your hair. Has a little pull bit up, of up. issues with chalk, but he's going fast on the obstacle. Tilting spine. You got it. One more pull through. This note? Nice. nice. Let's go, All right. Ryan. I think our camera person's... <laughs> camera person's from Austin, and just, uh, just cheering him on. Nice! Alright. First jump. Done. Second jump. Oh! oh so close. <laughs> that was a very close call. Almost had it. Let's get this. Nice work. Nice. Good job. Oh, so, he was so close. Seven of eight. That puts him in third place. Dang it. Ryan, you did so good. Bro. Oh. All right. Ryan, you can go sit down. Come on, my pink drinks. It's in the free fridge. Behind. Let's go, Travis. Well, you better stop recording. Negative. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Alright, um, any pay. questions on the course? Ready to go? Oh, camera went down. Give it a second. Is it going to come back? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, stand by. We have some uh, camera difficulties. I'll keep you updated. We have Travis Halla up, giving you a radio broadcast, moving through the cliffhanger. Oh, it just slips off the cliffhanger. Hold on. Actually, I can pull up the. Well, we have camera difficulties. There we go. You can see what's going on now. Sorry about that, guys. Got some new cameras, and we have these uh, network transmitters on them. All right. Should be fixed now. All right, should be fixed now. Give me a second, sorry about that. All right. Got the camera now? There we go. All right, as you can see, because we don't have any sound, but he's eaten six of the eight obstacles. Minute 30. Hold on one sec, stand by. There's our other camera back. All right. Uh, last teen runner, then we'll be moving on to the seven young adults. We got Matthew McGilvray. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Cameras are annoying sometimes. There he goes. 
Off the box push now under the devil steps. In some chalk from his coach. Good idea before the cliffhanger. Just, oh, just slips off. Mm -hmm. That angled one probably caught him off guard a little bit. Onto the Lachaise. Did he get chalk in his eye? I think he got chalk in his eye. He skips the first one, just jumps out. Alright, moving on. Last Lachey here, and dismount. Or is it sweat? I don't know. Now for balance? Nice and controlled here. Gotta get to that little red thingy. And to the dismount. Now for... If you didn't get the memo, please go to the back for the skills. For the masters and the adults, just go to that back area, and you will do your You're ready for the tilting spine. Pull up, pull up, don't swing so much. Don't swing so much. Pull up. Oh, just misses it. That tilt threw him right back down. Keep it moving. Out for the sideways laches. Oh! Just missed the timing a little bit. Last obstacle here. Finish off strong onto the propellers. Can you come hold the camera? I have to tighten my fan. My fanny pack. Saved it. Just hold it. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, stuck in no man's land. E easy to do on the propellers, but he's getting the moment back. He reaches out. Oh, time. I've literally just been sitting here. And I just nice effort. Uh, any questions on the course? Ready to go? Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go with the young adults, first of the seven. <laughs> they kept on one-upping each other in the flow course, as we saw earlier. Trying to get, pretty much challenging each other to get faster times, and they kept on stepping up to the challenge. It was pretty cool to see. Now, we're moving on to Cliffhanger. Nice work, Carson. Nice and strong. Nice and smooth. Walking over to Lachey's. See if he'll link him. Jumps out to the first... Jumps out to the second one, mind you. Nice and controlled. There he goes, nice balance. Alright, now, already under the tilting spine. Taking a deep breath, making sure he's got this. Reaches out to the middle one. Right, under the wheel. Definitely going for a full clear here. Oh! Good save! I think that tilt caught him off guard, but he did wherewithal. Just grabs the edge. Grab a little more in the middle for this one so he doesn't slip off. Ooh, good grip strength. Alright. One more obstacle to go. 45 seconds left, and he'll have a full clear. 
Oh, that one started spinning. Oh, good try. So close. Seven of eight obstacles. Next, we're on to Leo. Here we go. Pushes the box. Hops on over. Now for the double steps. Now moving through the cliffhanger. Ooh, that was that's actually a good strategy there. So you didn't have to do the extra pull up. You kind of just matched on the bottom, then to the top. Out. That might save him more energy. All right. Do the cliffhanger now. Yeah, all these young adults now are skipping that first uh, first cliche. One more and right to the dismount. Now for the controlled balance. Nice and smooth. Now for the tilting spine. All right, moving up. Across to the second spine. Dismount from here. Yep, and he's got it. Still a clean run so far. He gets through the sideways lachets and the propeller. Oh, just slid off. That was a close one. Now for the propellers. Oh, just oh, it's so close. The last two obstacles. Good work, Leo. Way to go, Leo. Crappy. Nah, that was good. <laughs> Next, we got Benjamin. For the box push. Attacks it. Uh, he's looking back. I think he was confused about the skills. The skills buzzer is in the background. But he keeps moving, going fast. Really good pace through this cliffhanger. Really muscling his way through. Sometimes, though, when you're muscling through things, you kind of forget to breathe, so he has to remember, take a deep breath, keep moving. Big, powerful links there. Now for the Lachey. The Lachey is now under the balance. No problem. Already over half the course done. Oh, slides off of there. Those V-shaped holds are pretty sh pretty slick metal. It can catch you off guard. But he's now on two. Oh, the sideways almost had it. One more obstacle to go. Plenty of time. He hops right into it. There he goes. Hellers have been catching a lot of people off guard, but he gets it. That'll be worth some points. Nice work. Nice work, Benjamin. Next, we have our guy from Germany, 
Lucas Hoban. it out of the way. Now to the double steps. Nice big reaches. Looking really smooth and controlled here. It's just the hanger. This is way up. And smooth this out. Alright. Skipping out. I think he's going to link here. Pretty much monkey barring him. Looks like a tall dude, wingspan. Moving on through. Balance. I think he's gonna chalk up. <coughs> All right. Moving on through the tilting spine. Really good reaches there. Going for the forward tech on here. Gets it. One more to go. And he'll be onto the propellers. Can he get this one? Oh, just on the edge. Good grip strength. Now for the propellers. Last obstacle. And he gets through. There we go. Nice work. Good stuff. Our first full finisher. Teams or young adults. Lucas from Germany. Okay. Let me get this leaderboard up. <laughs> Give me a sec. There we go. As you can see, Lucas, our first full clear of the day. Carson was close, came up short on the propellers, and then we got Benjamin Leo running up the field so far. Here's Brennan, Brennergy, moving on to, right through, the bar down the devil steps now for the cliffhanger, skips a ledge, going nice and smooth, really fast, really powerful. Line up the dismount, there he goes. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, he's gonna link these. Oh yeah, setting those hips back. Nice dismount. And for the balance. Good stuff. He's really moving now. Moving through the spine. Really fast. I think this is our fastest time to this point. He's taking a deep breath. He's going to need it for these last two obstacles. He knows he can get this full clear. Keep those hips side to side. There he goes. Most people are doing, doing it forward, but he's doing it sideways. He feels comfortable. Nice and smooth. Right to the dismount. One obstacle left with... Over a minute left. Oh yeah, he's got this. Our second full clear, and he finishes with over a minute left on the clock. Good stuff, Brennan. Really brought the Brennergy to this course. Let's see. First place on the full course. He's in good. He's in good shape to win the championship, actually. I have to keep you posted on that. Because he is he is he like first or second in the low? Yeah. Depending on how skills went. He could be our champion. We'll have to see. Here 
Here goes Kane. Pushes the box over. Commit to it. It's on him. Under the bar. Into the devil steps. Skipping some steps. Moving on through now for the cliffhanger. First couple. Now for the pull-up ledges. Ah, just didn't quite have it. Now for the laches. I wonder how far apart these are. Pretty monkey bar. Pretty much, yeah. Nice work. Pretty big wingspan here. Good work through there. Now for the, now for the shaky balance beam. Himself. Keep his core centered, and he does. Get these pull ups. There he goes. Nice and smooth. Not rushing or anything. Making sure he has every one of these holds. Go for the dismount here. Nice work. All right. He threw, he threw five of the last six obstacles. Now for the last two. Now for the sideways laches. Ah, didn't quite have it. Now onto the propellers. He has really good static reaches, so he could get through these propellers. Ah, oh, just misses it. Cool work, Kane. All right. I think this is our last young adult. Hi, people. Yep. I don't know what you're on. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Lulu. People watching. Whoa, Facebook I'm... Live! I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's probably like seven. Hi. Um, any questions on seven the court? Seven uh, Any questions on the court? No. Huh. Oh, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Already. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yes, yes, yes. All right, sorry about that. We're on to Mark. Already through the cliffhanger. Still two minutes left. Big kip up, keeping the mo that momentum through. One more, right to the dismount. Onto the control balance. I love how matter of fact these obstacle names are. No problem through there. Onto the tilting spine. Alright. Good work. Clean run so far. Over a minute left. Might be good to take deep breath. Get himself set up for the last two obstacles. Get that heart rate down. Oh, who's telling him? <laughs> Alright. There he goes, right in the center. Really precise. One more to go. Oh, right on the edge. Nice work. Good grip strength. Not easy to hang on to that when it's tilting down. It's pretty much like a sloper. Like a climbing sloper hold. Gotta be patient. Can't muscle it around. Just wait for it. One more and he'll have a full clear. 
get the dismount, and he does. And he gets a full clear, a third full clear. Good job. I think he's a little tired. He looks kind of tired there. Anyway. Uh, it's the blinking thing. Or are you a surprise? Yeah. But he had a very good run there. Really nice and smooth. He was smart there to save his energy on the, uh, before okay. the sideways grabs. The battery is about to die on this Yeah, one. I'll get you guys. Alright, let me switch over. And as you can see, there's our full course results. Let me keep you. Let me head over to. If you want to see the full standings, you can go to worldninjaleague.org. You go to the stats and tier 2 championship results. So, for young adults, Yeah, I believe it was... Okay, so young adults still got to do skills. They're like swapping back and forth. But as of right now, our championship leader is Brennan Ramsey with two skills to go. Each place, so eat both stages and both of the um, skills are weighted equally. And the look... And the less, least amount of points, the better. So, like, if you get first place, you get one point, and so on. So, Brennan Ramsey is in first with a uh, first place and a first place. Lucas Homan is in second with two second places. Benjamin Rochlitz, Rochlitz is in third with a third and a fifth. Mark Verma is in fourth. Carson Schapp is in fifth. Leo Hearing in sixth. And Kane Malden is in seventh heading into the two skills. I'll keep you updated on that. Then for then on the teen male side, before their skills, we have Nathan Cox in first, Brian Denny in second, Travis Hall third, Jack Magnuson fourth, Ethan Alexander fifth, Clay Petershagen sixth, Mitchell Boyer seventh, Bryce Hopkins eighth, Van Boehm ninth, Logan Rio tenth, tied with Beckett Gom, Matthew McGilvray twelfth, and Rounding out our few, rounding out our field is the Fortnite dancer himself, Owen Danley. At least I think it's Fortnite. <laughs> All right. So, um, next up, brief break here, and then we'll be back on the flow course with the adults and masters. They just finished up their, um, they just finished up their skills, as you probably saw in the background. They had like a lache skill and they also had what skill oh they had a tech skill and a dash skill that's what it is so in the adults right now uh before the course are top um just to keep you updated uh kane casillas hi kane um he's actually our Head reporter for the World Ninja League. Uh, we just did a podcast that'll be out soon. So, Kane Casillas and Fergus Dowling are tied for first, with a first and a second, respectively, each. And Sean Denny, third. Juan Rodriguez, fourth. Marvin Heinrichs, fifth. Bo Roland, sixth. And Matt Benelli, seventh. That's for the adult males. Just keep that in mind for when we get to the course. That's what our standings are looking at right now. Then for the Masters, we have 14 Masters. Let me take a drink of water. I'm talking way more than I ever do, because I'm usually behind the camera doing graphics and stuff, so give me a sec. So we got, for Masters so far, first outright, we got a first and a third in the skills for Steven Wirtz. Then we got... Second place, Cody Dolan, Ted Ramsey, Trey Vonderhaar, Jürgen Moeller, Brett Ostendorf, Jace Hearing, Thomas Hentrich, Nathaniel Wright, Alexander Hess, David Corsino, Rick Hinnant, Rick Atton, and Ali Merchant. Those are your ma male masters so far. Great to see a good turnout for the male masters. Masters division has really started to pick up. I think people are realizing, you know, you don't... <laughs> It, it might seem intimidating how all the best ninjas are 
you know, teenagers, but Ninja's for everyone, and that's what, especially things like Tier 2 are all about. Come out, try it. All ages. So, we'll take a brief dust stop down here. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back shortly.
All right, everybody, welcome back. We're actually on the flow course. Yep, there we are. On the flow course, minute and a half. It's that kind of speed stage style. Similar to uh, stage one. First up, we got Marvin Heinrichs. Seven obstacles? We actually got a another athlete from Germany here. See his shirt, Ninja Warrior Germany. As you can see in the background, got some of the younger age groups going on the skills. There we go. We got seven adults and then 14 masters. Here we go. We are ready to roll now. Marvin from Germany. You know, a lot of the Germans took a Take a big road trip. Tra they're all training around at all the gyms here in Texas. Like here, Austin Ninjas. There's also Ninja Nations, Iron Sports, Sam San, all of them. Axios, Move Sport. You have so many in Texas. Everything, everything's bigger in Texas. That applies to the Ninja Gyms. All right, here we go. First adult runner, Marvin Heinrichs. Through the shrinking steps now for the spider walk. Steady pace through there onto the flywheels. Oh, try staticking, misses. Gets it there. Stacks the next one, and dismount. On the holtz. Just under a minute left. And through. Smount to the cannonball. From the cannonball onto there. Alright, now, spinning log. Oh, did his foot touch? I th think it's good. I have to go to vid re video review, but that, <laughs> that looked pretty close. Alright. Now. 25 seconds left. Got past the pipe cluster. Oh, misses the little lache. It's deceivingly tough. Runs over to the button. Nice work, Marvin. Flex for the camera. 
Oh yeah, he's got European Ninja League shorts. Awesome. Shout out to them. Next we got Juan Rodriguez out of Axios. Abel Gonzalez's gym. Sure, I got the right. I got the right leaderboard. Here goes Juan. The steps now for the spider rock nice and fast through there. And set up for the flywheels. Pops the little shay. Going for the next one. And eyes the dismount. Don't overshoot it. Good. Now onto the holds. Nice pull. Now for the spinning log. Quick feet. Ah. Oh. Yes, couldn't quite keep up with it. Now for the pipe custard. Good backswing. Floats right up to the pumpkin. Good, good little pop there with his hips set back. Oh, is he gonna go for the dismount? Okay, I think he thought better of it. Oh, he's gonna go for the banana. That's precise. Good stuff. <laughs> nice run, Juan. All right. Next, we got Bo Roland. I think his, I think his, he has that baseball jersey on. I think that says Ninja in Japanese characters on his shirt. Here we go. Just Bo rolling on the shrinking steps. Oh, lots of speed into the spider walk. Going for broke here. Flying through. Line up the dismount. Don't overshoot. Good thing the <laughs> good thing the T holds up there. Moving through. Nice and smooth, just under a minute left as he moves to the spinning log. Quick feet here. Two steps, oh no! Overshoots it, had too much speed. Let's see if he can finish out this course though. Reach over the pipe coaster. He gets it. Right up to it now for the... Last couple holds. He's got the handlebars now. Swaying through. Finishing it out. Well, that was technically a full clear. Overshot that landing platform. Still a good run. Here's Matt Benelli on the shrinking steps. Oh, slips. 
He makes it through. Spider. The flywheels. Pops right into it. Nice preload. Another pop. High up the dismount. Just over a minute left as he has onto the holds. Through that, now we're on to spinning log. Ah, oh, just a little. Need a little more speed for that. Like I said earlier today, it's deceivingly quick. You see people go with really, really light feet, and it doesn't even look like it barely moves, but it does. But he's up onto the pumpkin through the handlebars. Ooh, nice save there. Good grip strength. Now for the last couple holds. Here we go. One last swing. Off there. And done. Nice work, Matt. Here we go. Here's Kink Sius. He's a guy I know very well. He uh, is our journalist slash head reporter guy for the World Ninja League. He moved stateside from Hawaii just recently. Only started training a couple months ago, but he's always been really active. Obviously obsessed with Ninja, just like I am. Many of my friends are flying through the spider walk. Static on the flywheels. Pull through. Gonna go for a lache. Oh, good save. There we go. Steady on the dismount now for the holds. Nice and efficient here. Good dismount. Skips the last one. Now quick feet on the spinning log. Two foots it. 45 seconds left as he moves on to the pipe coaster. And keep, can be our first finisher. Ooh, grabs the front side. Has to get that core around. Use that core. Keep going forward. He's got the momentum here. Can he grab the handlebars? Oh, just missed it. Nice run, Kane. Hit that buzzer. Good work. So close. Yeah, that handlebar, those handlebars kind of tilt side to side, and so you're kind of a little off kilter. It'll, one side will flip up higher than the other. Next up, we got Sean Denny. And one more runner after him for the adults. And we'll be moving on to the Masters. There you go. Sean is on to the shrinking steps. Right into the spider walk. Pops the third one. And off there. Now, over a minute left as he heads on to the holds. Keeping those arms high. Bent. Moving through smoothly and efficiently. Now for the spinning log. Triple steps it. Nice work. Now for the pipe coaster. 45 seconds left. We get this. There he goes. Resettle his swing, get the handlebars, he gets them. Gets one hand on there. Oh, he slips off! So close to being our first finisher. Nice work, Sean. Grip just slipped on that last cannonball. 
but that puts him in. Oh, let me pull up the lever. There we go. You can see sh that Sean took the lead by one point or two seconds there. He's in first place. Next we get our last adult runner, Fergus Dowling, out of Axios. we go shrinking steps right into the spider walk he's using the rope he's actually going pretty fast using the rope now he's gonna link these flywheels yeah nice nice control there right right into the holds I'm gonna pull back here probably dismount right away yep nice work minute left still a minute left wow flying through Hips back on the pipe coaster and go. Nice work. All right. Last couple holds, floats right up there. Effortlessly swinging. And he's gonna be our first and only clear for the adults in style. He beat that course in 49 seconds. That is flying. Made that look easy. Well, we head right over into the Masters. First up for the Masters, we got Nathaniel Wright. Shrinking steps. Now to the spider. Oh, can he save it? It worked. Gets his weight over to the rope. Decides to go normal spider technique here. Under the flywheels. And the second flywheel. Can he get the third one? Statics it. Eyes up the dismount. And lands. He must have grabbed the post a little too much before he crossed the plane. That's what I'm guessing. Or it was an. I'll keep you posted on that. I think that's what happened though. Alright, on to spinning log. Ooh. He almost saved it, actually. If it, his foot didn't tap. Now up to the pipe coaster. There you go. Time's running out. Come on, Nathaniel. Oh, time up. Good run, though. Good stuff. Coach from Rise there. Congratulating him. Now we're on to Ted Ramsey. Steps, no problem. Right into the spider walk. Doesn't bother to use the rope. He's comfortable on the spider walls. Reaching on the flywheels. And... And this one. Right, now we're on to the holds. 
before we grab the eye bolt. I don't know if that's in play or not. Oh, slips off anyway. Tough luck there. He's onto the spinning log. Barely moves for him. Nice work. Now for the pipe coaster. Just hips back and up. Oh, just misses it. Go run. Hit the buzzer. Good try. Next, we got Stefan Wirtz. A <laughs> third of 14 Masters, I believe, running. Masters male. Here goes Stefan. Into the spider, right into the spider walk. Ooh, tries to reach right away. Momentum carried him back. Decides to lache it. Ooh, good save there. Stops his moment his momentum in time. Moving on to the holds. Go now under the rolling log. Oh! Hey, he tried to. <laughs> Keep moving. Hey, he tried. He tried to walk across it, but it didn't quite work. Like I said, it's dece It's deceiving. It looks like it doesn't move, but it does. A couple more holds to go for Stefan Verts. One last pull. Oh, just misses it. It's the buzzer with his foot. It worked. Alexander Hess up next. Into the spider balls. Getting good traction. Steady on through. Eye wheels. One hands him. Oh, good save. Matches on the second one. Momentum gets still a little bit. And try to reach out here. It does pull on through. Shift that way. Yep. He's got to keep that momentum up. Try to reach out to that one. But make sure. Oh, grip gave out. I was gonna try the spinning log. Ah, close up. Also tried to walk it. I want to see somebody try to walk it and get it. I wonder how hard it actually be. Cause it seems pretty tough. After the pipe coaster. Oh, can't quite make it. Nice work. Now we're on to Rick Hatton. I think that's. I think that's a. Uh, Iron Sport shirt. I think. Pretty sure.
Here we go. Shrinking steps. Do that now for the spider walk. All slips. Using that rope. Oh. Still with it. Use that traction. Use through the spike. The spider. Ooh, nice statics there. Using that reach. Now for the holds. Nice grip. Good dismount. Nice pull through now for the spinning log. 30 seconds left. Has to go fast here. Oh! <laughs> nice work, Rick. Close one. Almost saved it. After the pipe coaster. I get those hips back and go for it. Oh. Good run, Rick. Okay, next we have Jace Hearing. Here we go. Shrinking steps. Ooh, a little off filter, but he makes it. Little spider walk. Using that rope. Head over to the flywheels. Big statics. I swear. Now for the holds. I think the right grip, he searching for that grip on that circular hold. Bowl shaped hold. Now for the egg. Now for the cannonball. Can you make the dismount from here to. Going for it, and he does. Alright, rolling log. Ooh, <laughs> sick. Good wherewithal right there. Knew he was overshooting, so he just jumped up into it. Alright, here we go. Will he be our first Masters to clear? Got this hop to the handlebars. Keep with that grip. Ten seconds left. Pull through. Dismount. And he does it. Jace Hearing is our first Masters competitor to beat Stage 1. Flow course. <laughs> He's our first competitor to beat the flow course. I guess it is our Stage 1. Anyway. Yeah, nice work. Check that leaderboard. There it is. Male. Nice and work, Jace. Hey, I have those shoes. Those blue Zantes. Here's Cody Dolan. Walking through the shrinking steps. Using the rope for the spider. Ooh. Pretty much a shimming through. Got 
Statics, the flywheels. Nice. Will it be our second finisher of the day? You good, you good. There you go. Pull through. Through this hold. Nice work. 45 seconds left as he's onto the spinning log. Oh! Just got a little too ahead. His feet got a little too far ahead of himself and kind of like tripped up and out. Now for the pipe coaster. Those hips up. There you go. Hop to the handlebars. Ah, oh, flip just grip just slips. Go at the buzzer. Good work. Are you okay? <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Next, we got Ali Merchant. through the steps and he makes it now for the spider quickly using that rope switching over to the other one i gotta grab over that flywheel it's the point try for the reach there he goes second one's a little bigger How is he hanging on? Whoa! The flexibility. That is impressive. Oh, so close. What a save, though. That's going on six save Saturday. Very impressive grip strength. He said that's enough. Saves energy for the full course. Good run. We have six. We have six masters left. And then we'll be going over the full course. Here's Jurgen Moller. The steps now for the spider walk. Through that, no problem. Let's see what technique he's flywheels. Yep. Goes for the reach. And dismount. Jurgen's moving on to the holds. Got a little off to the side there. Regains his composure. Good control. And dismount. Now a spinning log. Quick feet here. No problem. See, when you nail it, it doesn't move. But even if you're just a little bit off, it just goes spin like crazy. Nice work by Jurgen to get through that. Oh! Ooh, I think I, he got the wind knocked out of him. It was a big peel out. I think he said he's alright, though.
Yep, he's good. I just been winded, yeah. When, when you're that tired, then you... That big thud when you land. Yeah, there he is. Good thing we have a map there. <laughs> nice work, Jurgen. That puts him in second so far for the Masters. Take a quick look at the leaderboard. Next, we got Brett Ostendorf. Here we go, onto the shrinking steps. Right out of the spider walk, good technique. Just out, gets that point. Nice monkey bar statics. That's a clear. Now onto the holds. Nice and controlled. Just under a minute left as he moves onto the spinning log. Plenty of time to finish. Good job stopping his momentum there. Get back over to the pipe. Down the pipe coaster. Oh, didn't quite have the momentum he needed. Hips a little too far forward. He wants to try to get back up. Ah, oh, good run, Brett. All right, now we have four masters left. Next is Trey Vonderhaar. I like how matching his outfit is. I like the like the green shoes and the green shirt. I want some green shoes. Here we go onto the shrinking steps. Uses the rope. To get himself set for the spider walk. This is that kind of sideways like technique. That can sometimes help with traction a little more. And the flywheels, no problem here. Reaching on through. Alright, next is the holds. Pulling on through. Good dismount. Spinning log. Only two people have gotten this far. No problem. Quick feet. Has enough time to clear, definitely. Just gotta get these hips back on the pipe coaster. Oh! It's a little too far in front. Just overshoots. I'm feeling nice work, Trey. Next we have David Crocina. Two more masters, and then we'll be moving on to the full course. When we get to the full course, we will be uh have we will be having our usual main World Ninja League commentator Alex Cunningham joining us. He's up. Good morning. Actually it's noon now. Anyway. David Crocino, shrinking steps. Using that rope on the spider rock, put those feet on, put those feet on there, those panels. Really pulling through, touches the flywheel, gets the point. Really good rhythm on the flywheels, eyeing up that dismount. Nice work. Now for the holds. Make sure, keep your momentum going in a straight line. First couple holds are tricky to try to go in a straight line because 
circu like the circular object will want you to yeah do that. Circular object will want you to kind of won't really necessarily take you forward like like a cannonball would. Oh, thought he had it there, it just slipped out. Now onto the pipe coaster. Just hips back. Oh, tries to static it. Just misses the timing. Run on over, hit the buzzer. Good job, David. Okay. A few more masters to go. First up, we got Rick Hinnant. he be our second Masters finisher. Going through the steps. Jumps out of the way of the rope, right into the spider. Nice matches on the flywheels. Eyes up the dismount, no problem. Matches on the disc. Goes through the cannonballs. Easy. Still a minute left. Quick feet. Stops his momentum before he trips off. No problem. Ooh, there you go. Late jump, but he gets the grab on the pipe coaster, the pumpkin. Under the handlebars. He has time to spare. This could be our fastest time. Pull through. No problem. Finishes in 52.94 seconds. That's 32 fa seconds faster than our fastest time so far. Yeah, he was motoring through that course. Nice work, Rick. Second Masters finisher of the day. Our last one, before we switch over to the full course for the adults and the Masters men. We got Thomas Hentrich. Hentrich? Here we go. The spider walk. Right on over to the flywheels. Ooh, nice monkey bar technique. I approve. <laughs> Onto the holds. Nice and controlled. Pulling through. Going for the dismount. No problem. Just over 50 seconds left as he heads to the spinning log. And he gets it. Climbing up, getting ready for the pipe coaster. His hips back, forward, there you go. Really smooth run out of Thomas. Oh, momentum stalls a little bit, grab those handlebars. He has to do is reach out for this cannonball and this banana. One more on his way to stage two, our third master's finisher. Woo! What a dive! We weren't hurting that much for time. <laughs> Still finished with 20 seconds left. Nice work. Oh, let's go to the leaderboard. All right, so. As you can see for our Masters Males, got three finishers, a couple other really close runs. Now we're gonna just Stand by and set up for um, full course. Let me bring in Alex real quick.
All right, so while well, we're still getting set up for the full course, let's take you through just some updates on the overall championship leaderboards for the adults and the masters male males. So right now we have Fergus Dowling in first for the adults. Uh, Ann Casillas in second. Sean Denny in third, and we got Marvin, Heinrich, Juan Rodriguez, Bo Rowland, and Matt Benelli. Then for the Masters, Ben, we have Brett Ostendorf, Rick Hinnett, Troy Vonderhaar, Cody Dolan, Stephen Wirtz, Ted Ramsey, Thomas Hentrick, Jurgen Muller, Jace Hearing, David Corsino, Nathaniel Wright, Alexander Hess, Rick Atten, and Ali Merchant rounding out the field. So, yeah, they have all one course left, and make or break, make or break time for to see who wins the championship. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I won't be calling the action, uh, but I'll still be giving all the stats and stuff. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just hand it over right now to Alex. Good afternoon, everyone, or I guess uh, morning if you're watching further out on the West. Uh, it's been an exciting Tier 2 Championships so far, but this is going to be our last course coming up in just a little bit. Um, or, hold on a second. Sorry about that. I thought my video was frozen, but you're seeing what I am. Um, but yeah, it's been an exciting day here at the Tier 2 Championships in Austin, Texas. Well, I guess they're in Austin, Texas. I'm calling from home. But uh, we have one last course to run today. It is the full course for the adults and masters. So I'm looking forward to watching that along with you guys. And mm -hmm. we will get you sent out back to Austin, Texas in just a little bit. So hold tight, full course coming up soon. And then after the adult masters men uh, finish up, then we'll be headed over to back to the flow course for 13 and up for um, the girls and women uh, for full and flow. So yeah, stick around. We'll be here for another good couple hours.
Welcome back, everybody. It is time for the full course. Alex Cunningham here joining you. Not in Austin, but the action currently live in Austin. As we bring you day two of the World Ninja League Tier 2 Championships. Marvin Heinrichs is our first runner. And we are on the full course now. As a reminder, everybody, each obstacle counting in isolation. So you're want, going to want to go fast on each individual obstacle to get as many points as possible. And even if you fail, each obstacle counts. So he's through the cliffhanger, a little close there on the dismount. And he moves to the up and down Lachaise. I think his back foot actually touched on the dismount. I see there's the... Oh! See, yeah, the red... The red yeah. box. I guess, um... I, I think it's possible he also used the post to bring himself in. In any event, we're on uh, controlled balance. Unfortunately, just not getting the point there on the cliffhanger. Marvin joining us all the way from Germany. Philip, you mentioned earlier they, uh... Ooh! I haven't seen this yet. Tilting spine. This is cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But as you mentioned earlier, uh few German athletes making the trip over, touring some of the gyms here in Texas. Marvin representing them well as we go to the sideways Lachaise. Looks like he's going to grab the sides. So this is a wider grab. Yep. You can face forward the whole time. This was actually the more popular uh, technique in the teens and young adult. Oh no! Not able to hang on. But he still has bar propellers in the ring coming up. Just hangs on to that second propeller. Got to pull himself over now. 20 seconds, he should have plenty of time to go hit that buzzer. He does. Six out of eight for Marvin. Should get him a pretty good score. Marvin currently sitting in fourth place in the championship. So we will have to see if that will uh, move him onto the podium. Juan Rodriguez is our next athlete. Ben. He was uh, down on the rolling log in the flow course. So he's looking to get some more points towards his standings here on the full course. Dinks and last second instructions from our referee. Oh, I think what happened with Marvin was he used the other side of the cliffhanger. Mm. Well, that's something our athletes will have to watch out for then as the day progresses. Through the devil steps, I... Oh, I see. That might have just been a translation issue or something. Yeah, so our athletes will be using the blue side there. Yeah, because yesterday the kids used the other side. Mm. Nice links. Ooh, look at these links from one. Well done. Let's see if we can defeat the balance. Definitely has a bone to pick with balance after his flow course run. And he is looking good. And he's through. Well done. Onto the tilting spine. Now those of you that saw the World Championships a year ago will remember that spine. It was the centerpiece for all three stages at uh, Greensboro. Year ago today, by the way, 
was uh, Saturday at the World Championship. Nice kicks through these sideways laches, and Juan is looking like he could put down the first full clear of this full course. Still a minute to go, but remember, each obstacle counting in isolation. So, rest on any obstacle does hurt him a little bit. And the ring dismount, and he finishes. I think he got the buzzer on the first go around. He definitely did on the second. And he's going to celebrate a fantastic finish to his world championships, and he's fired up. Taking a look at our remaining run order now. The standings will shift around on this full course because uh, difficulty points is the first metric to determine uh, placement. So as competitors clear and fail individual obstacles, the amount of points that each obstacle counts for changes. Bo Roland is our next athlete, and he is flying through those first two obstacles. Definitely going after placement points. For those of you that weren't with us yesterday, after difficulty points, it matters how fast you were on each obstacle compared to your fellow uh, athletes. He moves through the cliffhanger quite nicely, and he is also going to link some of the laches. Going to jump to this last one, and he makes a dismount. Going to take some active rest here on controlled balance, I think. And he's through. To the tilting spine now. Might be going for the dismount early. He is now. I think we've seen two athletes now not go to that last wheel at all. And that prevents that second spine from tipping. And Bo's going to go for the sideways technique here. And not able to hang on. So I wonder if maybe he should have gone for the grabbing the sides technique that his other athletes have gone for. And he's knocked the propeller. He can time it. Going to go into a figure four almost to try to slow his swing. And he's going to tap out on that. Still, though, completing the first six obstacles as we take a look at the standings there. Now, he's completed a different six obstacles than Marvin did. So, those uh, difficulty points will almost certainly change over the course of this division. Obviously, only adult males against adult males. doesn't matter what the adult females or the masters do. For those difficulty points. Matt Benelli is going to be our next athlete. I think he's coming out of Jimja based on his shirt up in uh, Massachusetts. As he is nice and controlled through the double steps and he's through. To the cliffhanger. Trying to find a grab on that middle ledge but he is looking good now. Trying to make a big reach. I don't know if this is a smart call, but it's working. Now has to find that dismount. And he does. No, he doesn't. He used the pole to bring him in, and that is not allowed on that obstacle. Yeah, what, Unfortunately, that is going to be out on the cliffhanger. Yeah, so what actually happened there? So, a lot of... They have been pretty lenient with the posts, as long as you're past the plane. And he wasn't past the plane, he was kind of backwards, so... He was kind of falling back, so he used it to his advantage. Tough break there for Matt. As he is on to the tilting spine now. Wasn't able to complete controlled balance. Looks like a little bit of uh, technical difficulties, apologies for that. We're gonna get that worked out momentarily. 
right now on the sideways Lachey's. Not able to hang on to that middle one. And I wonder if uh, Matt's uh, grip is just starting to give out. Now, um, we are doing a lot of this remotely, so hence the difficulties. Probably some internet difficulties down there in Austin. Uh, obviously, severe weather throughout the country this weekend, so maybe that's what's causing the technical issues. We're getting that uh, re... Oh, we might be back. I think we're back. No, we had a freeze. I think we're working out some uh, technical difficulties, I know. A number of you want to be watching Kane Casillas' run. All right, I think we're back. So apologies to Matt for the technical difficulties during his run. Um, like I said, a lot of this remotely. Um, I'm, of course, hanging out in Pittsburgh in my home. As Kane Casillas is on the course. Kane, obviously... Uh, one of our WNL staff members in the media department. He also has a YouTube channel where he talks about a lot of uh, various ninja news, so I'm sure he'll be doing some uh, recaps of his performance here today as he is making his way right through the course. We've already seen one full clear and Kane currently sitting in second place as it looked like he wanted to link opts not to. Now going to have to rebuild his swing for that last lache. He does, and that brings him into the platform. Finding his way through the controlled balance. Kane uh, also does a lot of video stuff with Kane Malden, who ran in... Uh, Young adults earlier as Kane Casillas makes his way through the tilting spine. Coming out of level up down in North Carolina. Around to the sideways Lachaise. And this has caused our ninjas some fits so far. He's going for the wide technique. And yeah, you can't grab the front. That is, uh, yeah, can't do that. Not how physics works. But he's laughing it off, trying to get the final point here on bar propellers and ring. Reaching out and not able to hang on. Tough break there from Kane. He's going to get six obstacles. But he completed those obstacles pretty quickly. Actually, right now, he is dead even with Bo Roland, who completed the same six obstacles, and they have similar uh, placement points. So we will have to see as the day progresses how that uh, shakes out. And Fergus Dowling is currently in first place in the overall standings. This is not Fergus Dowling, hold on. You're going? Okay, so Sean Denny is on the start line, either a miscommunication or perhaps we're waiting on Fergus to come back to the start. All right, Sean Denny up next. He was in second place in the flow course. Almost made to the end, just couldn't complete the last obstacle. A sign of the cross as he did before his flow course run, and he is underway. Very quickly down the devil steps, he knows that he cannot take any obstacle slowly if he wants to move up in the standings. Nice lock off through the cliffhanger. Got to find that dismount. And he does. To the up and down Lachaise now. And he is going to link one. 
and a quick dismount, so that was very quick. And he's going quickly through the controlled balance also and sticks the landing. If he would have gone too far, that would have been a fail of tilting spine and holds. So great balance, great agility, and great control. Now he's going to go to that last wheel. We haven't seen a lot of athletes do that, but that does allow him to wrangle in the platform. Moving on to sideways Lachaise. Nice kick. Being this obstacle would go a long way, but just can't get all the way in. Need to go a little bit further. Kind of like a UFO grab, that uh, wide grip. You really do have to grab that in the center. That's going to tilt down. Trying to control that second propeller. He's got it. And so it looks like he is going to complete seven of the eight obstacles that will put him ahead of Kane and Bo, who only completed the first six. Obviously, Juan had the full clear a moment ago. So that should, by my math, put Sean in second place. And indeed, we see there Sean in second. Bo moving into third because of how the placement points have shaken out. And Kane Casillas in fourth. Which is a great omen for Fergus Dowling, who is currently in first place in the standings. He's the last runner. Uh, he was two placement points ahead of Kane, and he is moving right through the box pushes, moving right down the devil steps as well. Fergus coming out of Axios. Axios being a Texas facility, so we've seen a lot of Axios athletes this weekend. I got the dismount and got it. Now, a full clear would mathematically secure Fergus Dowling the world championship. He skipped a bar and linked the rest very quickly through up and down the chase. Controlled balance. Yes, he's good. Toting spine and holds now. Nice and smooth. All he needs to do is full clear. Time not necessarily a factor, especially given that he is under a minute into his run, still over a minute and a half to go. And so, given that, he can take his time and chalk up, try to beat this obstacle that so few have beaten today. And he makes that grab, great controlled swings, another grab, finds the dismount. That should secure him the championship, but this would definitely secure him the championship. Reaching out to the ring. So quickly through, with over a minute to go, Fergus Dowling walked it off as our first ever adult male tier two world champion with a full clear to boot. Well done to Fergus. We'll go over the full standings for the adult males in just a little bit. But we are moving on to the Masters now. Over in the Masters division, it is Brett Ostendorf sitting in first place. Got Rick Hennant and Trey Vonderhaar right behind with only 12 uh, standings points. Brett has 10. Uh, there are, there's obviously two courses, the Flow and Full that we've been watching, but also the uh, two skills that have been going on in the background. And we will add up the athletes for placements and low score wins. That's how we are determining our tier two world champion. You can see one of the skills going on in the background with some monkey bars. Double steps significantly harder as Nathaniel uh, he need to grab the back sides, but he is through. More important than you clear than you go fast. On to the cliffhanger. Nice lock offs by Nathaniel keeping his arms at 90 degrees. Only two ledges to go. He's starting to go straight with his grip and just lost it. And shake out before trying the up and down Lachaise. Now the bad news of him getting so far into the cliffhanger and not getting the point is that he's used up a bit of energy, but I do want to try to go for those points if you can get them. Of course, the idea behind the full course format is to prevent any motivation for athletes to skip obstacles because the more challenging obstacles are worth more points. Now, 
Now Nathaniel going sideways down the controlled balance. That's an interesting strategy. I wonder if we're going to see more athletes in the Masters division go for that. We'll switch over to the tilting spine and holds in just a second here. There we are. Only 48 seconds. This has been a grueling upper body day for these competitors. So this is a testament to see how much they have left in the tank. Remember, not only did they do the flow course before this, but two other skills. Again, we're going for the early dismount. We have 27 seconds to go. Can't really waste any time here. Probably only going to have time to do one more obstacle. And Nathaniel's going to go sideways. Um, no, I think he's. I think he's done. <laughs> he realized he didn't have enough time. Probably didn't have much left in the tank either. So Nathaniel going to get himself five points. Or five obstacles, anyway. Uh, the points will shake out a little bit differently, of course. Ted Ramsey uh, currently finds himself sixth out of 14 in the overall standings. He performed very well on the skills, coming in fourth place in each skill. So he is looking for a strong flow course, excuse me, strong full course to finish off his weekend. Box pushes up first. Now with the kids, they really need to get high on those boxes. But for the adults, obviously a little bit more power behind them. Just, you know, biologically speaking. He's through the devil steps as well and moves on to the cliffhanger. He's going quite well through the cliffhanger, actually. Got to get one more hand on that big block, I think. Actually going to rotate around. Interesting strategy. And it works. Well done for Ted. Up and down Lachey's now. Be a hair easier than the cliffhanger, I would think. Really taking his time here through the Lachey's. I imagine we will not be seeing a whole lot of our Masters competitors try to link that. Keeping his arms out for the controlled balance. Going to use the block and moves on. So he is 5 for 5 so far. Looking really well. Tilting spine and holds now. his way across to the second and he's through that second spine does tilt but uh, a lot of our competitors have been going for an early dismount as that dismount platform is a spillover grabbing wide on the sideways laches and he makes the first jump one more got it I got the dismount, and there it is. So, with 22 seconds left, can he defeat Barbara Pellers and Ring to complete this entire course? And his grip just got pulled away from him at the very end. Still, though, seven obstacles, a great run out of Ted. Steven Wirtz is our next athlete. He actually came in first place in one of the skills earlier today. Because of that performance and his top half performance in the other two events that he has done so far, he is currently sitting in fifth place. With a little bit of help, he could sneak into a podium position and possibly get the overall win. So a full clear would go a long way for him. Of course, these athletes aren't doing math in their head. They just see the obstacles in front of them, and they're going to try to throw down full clears. 
Which is one thing I like about this sport, though. You know, you don't want to do a whole lot of calculus, you just want to do the best that you can. Steven is doing quite well so far. Quickly through the cliffhanger. One of the faster runs through the cliffhanger that we've seen. Now to the up and down Lachaise. Going up this one, the last one, and he's through. Nice steady balance, through controlled balance. Five for five so far. We just saw Ted get the first seven obstacles. Stephen so far has matched him. And I think he's going to go for the early dismount as well. And sticks it. Didn't even need to stick. Oh, careful now. <laughs> Don't uh, fall off the platform. Makes the grab on sideways Lachaise. No, came out too far in front. So, a clear on bar propellers in the ring would go a long way for the standings. You just switch over to there. There we go. And Steven throwing down the clear of that obstacle. 140, his final time, of course. The final time not mattering. The time on individual obstacles does matter. So seven obstacles. We'll see how the difficulty points shake out to see where Steven ends up in his final standings. Alexander Hess up next. Ooh, nice power. Now this obstacle is called ring slider to double steps. I wonder if maybe they were going to put a ring slider there and then change their mind. In any event, the uh, new version of that obstacle is not causing a whole lot of problems for our competitors. The cliffhanger, though, has caused some problems for some of our competitors, anyway. Uh, case in point, Alexander slipping off there. The ledges look pretty thin, probably, you know, inch, inch and a half, so very difficult to grab onto. Especially for our adult competitors. Larger hands, you know. He's through the chaise, though. Pick up some more points here on controlled balance. Might want to think about resetting. Ah, he just steps off. He knew he was beaten on that. All upper body from here, though. As he tries to find his way through tilting spine. He needs to pull up, grab that. How much energy does he have left? Inside of a minute to go. On the second spine, reaching out to that wheel, and I think the way he's swinging, he's going to go for the dismount here. He is. And just gets the dismount. He came out in the front of that platform, but had the momentum to go through. Mm -hmm. Opting not to do the sideways Lachaise as he definitely has enough time to do both obstacles. He's going to try to get a point. I mean, in situations like that where time really comes into play, certainly skipping an obstacle to go to a faster obstacle does make sense. He's not able to complete the propellers. Going to walk over and hit the buzzer. A heart to the camera and to all the folks back home supporting him as he finishes up his Tier 2 World Championship with four completed obstacles. Rick Atten is our next competitor. Getting some last-second pieces of advice, I think. Waiting for the start, and he is ready to go. 
Alright, attention all teen and young adult males, we're gonna go to the tech skills. On to the devil steps. Pulling himself through. Now the cliffhanger. Slipping off though. The nice thing about a full course though, that you can put an obstacle like the cliffhanger fairly early in the course. It taxes the competitor's grip, and even if they fail it, uh, they still have a lot of obstacles to complete and recruit points later in the course. So, in flow courses, the reason we call it that, course flow, very important for course designers. For full course, a lot different strategy to think about for course designers. Controlled balance, just missing there in the middle. Reaching out, trying to get the tilt a little bit earlier. Trying to pull himself up to the V hole, and he does. Working his way across. And nice dismount. As he moves on to sideways Lachaise. 50 seconds still, good time. And Rick has a really nice swing, even though he came up a little bit in front of that sideways board. So he's been performing very well on the Lachey options. Trying to reel in that propeller, and he's got it. Uh oh, watch out. One hand's the ring, but he is through. Well done, Rick. Completing five options. Currently puts him in third place. And you can see there, uh, Ted completed a different seven obstacles, which even though he was slower than Stephen, means that he has more difficulty points, and that puts him further ahead. So that's how that works. Uh, difficulty points is that first number, the 25 for Ted, the 22 for Steven. Each obstacle starts as one point and then can be worth up to 10 more based on what percentage of athletes uh, complete that obstacle and don't complete that obstacle. So if, for instance, 50-50 complete the obstacle, that's an additional five points out of 10 for a total of six. Jace Hearing is our next athlete. He actually came in uh, third place in the flow course. So he's looking to keep up the momentum here on the flow and move up the standings. Not able to hold on to the cliffhanger though. That's okay, still five to go. Master's having a lot of trouble with that cliffhanger. Nice link! Bring in the platform. On the controlled balance. Very cleanly through. That uh, beam hardly moved. Coating spine and holds. Getting a swing and makes his way through. You can spill over, that's okay. Looked like instinctively he tried to stick it, but he is still in. Shaking it out, pumping himself up before attempting sideways Lachey. Still a little bit over a minute to go. He has plenty of time. Makes the grab in the center. Completing seven obstacles would go a long way. But he grabs just in the front of that sideways Lachey's thing about the sideways lachets there, if you do it the uh, traditional way, um, it's a little bit more technical, but given that you don't have to grab the, or make that wide grip, you don't have to worry about grabbing too short or too far. Based on what the pivot point is. The physics for you all. Jace completing bar propellers in the ring though, gritting through it for six obstacles completed. Well done to Jace. 
you can see where we are in our run orders. The teens will be running a little bit later, so right now we have eight more masters to run this course. Cody Dolan is our next athlete. Nice uh, spider shirt. He, of course, did a spider walk back in the flow course, but this is the full course. A lot different of a challenge. Now the cliffhanger. Cody actually, oh no, not able to hang on, almost made it to the end of the cliffhanger. Cody actually won the dash skill earlier today. The um, standings are a little weird on the website right now, uh, just based off of the fact that some of the athletes have run the full course and others haven't. The Cody currently showing in sixth, but... Uh, Obviously, he will improve his placement here on the low course, or excuse me, full course. Now, it looks like the referee missed a punch, but that is something that we can go back and fix in post. So, he is actually on the sideways holds after completing all but the controlled balance. Of course, these things do happen from time to time. And our partners at NinjaWorks have made a very intuitive user interface to go back and edit those runs. Obviously a little bit different for full course because you have to get the timing. Yeah. Oh, look at this. He's got the traditional sideways grab, and he's through. Not a lot of athletes have beaten that obstacle. But this could get him number seven. That's been the magic number for these masters. You've got to watch out for the propellers. Come back around. Now he's in a little bit of trouble. Trying to find the timing. Resetting is allowed. But now got to watch out as the first propeller is getting away from him. Jumps to it. And makes the grab. In the dismount, he will have completed seven obstacles. So the standings will be... A little bit different but that being said a great run out of Cody Ollie Merchant gonna get some last second advice I like the uh, awards stand over there in the middle of the floor we have not been using the worked wall in any of the competitions so I like the little Makes sense to have it do. nice and out on display. I remember back in the DGS meeting, uh, Brian Wilczewski, one of the founders of the what is now the World Ninja League, was talking about putting a platform in the center of our Greensboro layout. And... I was like, oh, did you borrow that from Rocket League? Because Rocket League uh, does the same thing. They have like a big display with the main trophy in the center of their stage for their world championships. And he just smiles at me and gives me a little point. That didn't help at all. You'll be fine. Like smaller, yeah. I think this is the one that tricks And the thing about these masters, you know, it, it's always the most fun uh, to be a part of just on the other end of the competition <clears throat> because they always have such a great attitude and you know very playful on their uh on their course runs it always just provides for a very light and fun mood and uh mega props to these masters because they're proving that you it is never too late to start your ninja career Especially here in Tier 2, a lot of these athletes may be doing Ninja for the very first time. I mean, not necessarily today, because this is the World Championship, but 
you know, maybe this is their first year doing ninja maybe they've only done it for a couple months a lot of masters actually do it because their kids do it and so that's just a great family thing to do together as always making his way through the devil steps now on to the cliffhanger so far so good nice small side to side movements that is important it takes away a little bit of the need to pull up. You still need to do it a little bit. But also you don't want to get too big of a swing as that gets you a little bit out of control. Just can't reach that upwards move. Oh he, yeah, you can step down. There you go. He moves on to the up and down laches. Reminder for all the folks at home. Does not matter how you get from platform to platform. He's actually going to jump out of the second one. Nice move, and that gets him a little bit of momentum for the remaining laches. Oh no, just not able to grab that bar. You can tell it's a little bit higher than the others, hence the name up and down laches. Now on the controlled balance. So much balance in our sport now. Let's just run across this thing as fast as you can. Great save there by Ollie. And so I do love seeing course designers, especially uh, here at Austin this weekend, integrating some more slower balance. Body control is so important in so many aspects of our sport. And no exception on that controlled balance. Ollie, a lot to be proud of because uh, we've seen a number of athletes go down on controlled balance so far. He's also making his way through the tilting spine, needs to straighten out a little bit. Ten seconds to find this dismount. I think he's going to go early. Actually, he might be reaching for that last wheel. Needs to figure something out. He's only got five seconds. Come on, Ollie. And he's going to run out of time before dismounting. And he's going to come up a little bit short anyway. Tough break there, but a big hug. From who I'm sure is his biggest supporter. Well done to him, and congratulations on a great season. Philip, can I let you uh, commentate here again? I need to get some water. I think Philip's gone. All right, well, Philip handles the technical aspects then. I will uh, introduce Jurgen Miller. No, Jurgen Muller, excuse me. A, uh, another one of our German athletes. Currently finding himself in the middle of the standings. So a... High placement in the full course would go a long way. Getting some advice from his fellow German athlete. Of course, we saw Marvin do very well uh, throughout so the weekend. So just getting some advice on how to complete this box push. <clears throat> Looks like he's ready to go. And the clock has started. And indeed, he gets the box push over. So, looked like he, something he was worried about. And once you have an onslaught that you're worried about and you beat it, everything else kind of feels like house money. It gives you a lot of positivity and momentum to complete the rest of the course. Jurgen makes his way through the cliffhanger. Looking pretty good so far. A 
needs to get pulled up to that higher ledge, and he does. All right. Oh, no, not able to hang on, though. He's looking really good there on the cliffhanger. Let's see how well he can perform on the Lachets. You can see one of our, I think, teen athletes back there doing a different set of Lachets. But Jurgen gets through his. Now on a controlled balance. Halfway through his course. I like his shoes. I, I could I could dig some all orange Xantes. I'm not sure if those are Xantes or not, but as a former tiger back in high school, I do have a bit of affinity for orange things. All right, Jurgen making his way through controlled balance. He's already completed four obstacles. Still time to get a fifth here. Plenty of time for tilting spine and holds. I'm not sure for the entire rest of the course, but definitely enough to do this obstacle. Perhaps the next. We'll have to move a bit faster if he wants to get any points beyond this, though, as he's down to 25 seconds. Again, plenty of time to complete this obstacle as he's looking for the dismount, and he's got it. 18 seconds to go. Gonna have to get through sideways Lachaise quickly. Trying to figure out how to get up there. And now he's down to 10 seconds. Folks, you really need to go in with a plan. And I mean, I think it was Muhammad Ali that says everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. He makes the grab, but unfortunately his time has expired. Gonna complete this obstacle though, and just came out a little bit in front. Great run by Jurgen. And massive thanks to him for making this truly a world championship. I mean, all the way over from Germany. <laughs> Brett Ostendorf is looking like a contender to take it all down here. He was in first place heading into the... Uh, flow course currently showing up in fourth but that's just because he's showing us having a ninth place on the full course this block has started a little bit of a false start there might cost me a little bit of placement on box bushes but that's okay through the double steps very quickly though so that'll make that right back up he has not come in first place in any individual event yet but two-thirds in skills and a fourth in flow course gives him 10 placement points we talked in the intro about how he had two behind him with 12 placement points jumping out to the second bar linking the third not able to link the fourth but very quick through up and down the chaise Now Brett making his way through controlled balance. As the obstacle name uh, implies, he's doing this very controlled. And that beam barely moved. Great balance out of Brett. Now upper body strength is the name of the game. Making his way through tilting spine and holds. Makes the dismount. On two sideways lachets, looks like he's going to do the traditional sideways technique. I think he might change his mind. Yeah, change his mind, he's going to go for the wide grip. Provides its own challenges, certainly. Well, he's got the first. And he's got the second. Looking for the dismount, makes it. Now, if he can complete this obstacle, that would be the first full clear of the full course in the Masters. Wrangles it in just on the edge of the propeller. And he is through a full clear for Brett Ostendorf. And the way this Masters division is going, that might have just won him a world championship. Finding himself, as you might expect, in first place. 
and quickly threw. Fantastic run by Brett. Currently in first overall in the standings. So Trey Vonderhaar, who came in with 12 placement points, will need to beat Brett by at least two. So that means that he'll need to not only full clear quickly, but have somebody else finish between him and Brett as he gets underway. Now the clock is uh, a little bit behind, maybe by like a second. So he did, uh, he was a little bit delayed out of the start game, but maybe not as much as the uh, live counter would indicate. But nevertheless, through the first two obstacles quickly, almost a slip up there on the cliffhanger. But he is moving through very well. He's watch out for that post and finishes. To the up and down will chase now. He also jumps out in the second one. Makes the catch at number three. And number four. And he's three. To the controlled balance. Nice and steady. And finishes. To the tilting spine and holds. Not sure his time is going to beat Brett's at this juncture. But to finish on the podium overall, a full clear would go a long way. And he completes the first six obstacles. Gets a little bit of shock. As he gets right for sideways Lachaise, he also goes for the wide grab. On those wide grabs. Wow, I was going to say he really had to grab in the center. I think he did with his right hand. Kind of grabbed in front with the left hand, but still was able to hang on. And he grabs really in front there again, but is able to shimmy down and completes. 27 seconds to get the full clear here. He's to reach out, misses it, and that is going to cause it to spin. It's going to come back, though, I think. 15 seconds. Needs to time it. And not able to time it. He is going to complete seven obstacles, though. Tough break there for Trey. That should put him fairly high up in the standings, however. So where's, like, Nova Ninja? Because I've seen a lot of shirts. Where? Oh, wow. So y'all have traveled away. That's fun. Taking a quick look at the live standings. I know, I he is currently in second. Really interesting. Uh, Rick Hennant behind him still to run, who also had 12 points. Also currently in second in the full course, as I believe we have three athletes to go. David Corsino is the first of those three, coming out of Nova Ninja, as you might expect, in uh, Northern Virginia. Kind of surprised there's not uh, more ninja facilities in the DMV area. But I know there is a lot of interest down there, so uh, if you're interested in starting a ninja facility, that might be a good place to start. Pretty straight arm through the cliffhanger. He's going to have to make a pull up to get to this ledge, though. Yeah, and I wonder if, given that this is his fourth event, he might be starting to run on empty. We'll see how he does on the up and down Lachaise. Starting to catch a second win, though. Thanks to the grab. One more. And he's through. Well done to David. As the controlled balance is up next, he also goes sideways. He's leaning a little bit forward there, but able to save it. Good save there by David, and he is able to complete controlled balance. Tilting spine and holds up next. And 
his way up with 52 seconds remaining in his course. Looking for the dismount, and he's got it. So we will see if he is able to get through either of these last two obstacles in time. Grabbing out in front of Sideways Lachaise, but that's okay. That gives him time to complete bars, bar propellers and ring. Of course, most ninjas just doing the propellers part. As they are able to reach out. He's actually going to get up to that uh, higher platform made available for uh, shorter athletes. And just not able to grab that last propeller. Still going to get five obstacles. So well done to him. And now Rick Hennant. He came in to this event in second place. The tech skill really letting him down, but first in the flow course and second in the dash skill. If he can pull out a high standing here, I'm not sure at this juncture that winning the world championship is possible, but certainly a podium position. We saw his son Jet Hannon uh, come in second in the uh, Mature Kids yesterday. He was very impressive, so we'll see how much Ninja runs in the family here. Well, so far, very quickly through. Linking the Lachaise, the first of the Masters competitors to do so. Link his way through the controlled balance. About 45 seconds in, he is already on to the tilting spine and holds. And quickly through at that. This is looking like the best run we've seen so far in any division. He's going the sideways technique and makes the catch. Are you sure this guy is in the master's division? Somebody check his birth certificate. Ooh, watch out there. This one. Minute 21 to go. Loads of time for the bar propellers in the ring. Wrangles it in. Just the dismount remaining. He is going to finish with over a minute to spare. A fist bump from the skills referee. Now, that might put him in first for the full course. And if it does, and that means our final competitor. Yes, it does put him in first place. And a placement of 11. Now, you get one point for finishing in first on an obstacle, two points for finishing in second, and so on. Which means Jet... Excuse me, Jet. Which means Rick, on average, essentially on average, was the fastest on every obstacle. So if Thomas full clears between Rick and Brett, Rick world champion. If not, Brett will be our world champion. And Thomas did get second on the flow course, so that would be possible. Doing quite well on the cliffhanger. And he's through. On to up and down Lachaise. I would say that Brett and Rick are watching with bated breath, but I think more so they are just proud of their individual performances today rather than trying to figure out standings live. Of course, Thomas has his eyes set on a high placement, so he is going to try to complete this course as quickly as possible. Nice and steady on the controlled balance, and he is through. Hard to see from that camera angle, but there is a uh, red block there on the ground that our competitors can use. Making his way through the tilting spine and holds. He's going to use that last one and swing over to the landing. He has a minute to go. 
can he complete the full course? Looking for the jump, and he's too far forward on sideways Lachey's. Still loads of time to complete the propellers. Making his way around, trying to pull it in, and just couldn't grab it. Still, though, going to complete sex obstacles with a big smile on his face. And a nice shock assigned to the camera. That completes our Masters competition here at the Tier 2 World Championships. As we take a final look at the full course standings, Rick Hennant dominated this course. However, that tech skill is going to come back to haunt him as Brett Ostendorf wins the World Championship by one placement point. It is Brett Ostendorf as our first ever Masters World Champion in Tier 2, followed by Rick Hennant, who came in first place on both courses, and Trey Vonderhaar in third place with uh, 15 placement points to Brett's 12 and Rick's 13, so a very close competition between those three. Well done to all of them. Uh, as we just saw in the... Uh, Adult division, it was Fergus Dowling winning the world championship. Uh, the minimum possible placement points you can get is four, obviously coming in first place in each event. Fergus had five, so he came in first in the flow course, full course, and dash skill. Kane Casillas came in first place in the tech skill and finished second in the world championship. And Sean Denny who did very well throughout this competition, finished in third. So congratulations to all of our competitors, um, ultimately just for qualifying for the World Championship, but also for a fantastic season. And it's so great to see their careers get started here in Tier 2. Perhaps we'll be seeing some of the top competitors uh, in Tier 1 either later this season or next season. Earlier today, we saw Travis Halla in his home facility take down the Teen Male World Championship with Ryan Denny finishing in second. So the uh, the Denny family picking up two podium spots today. Nathan Cox finishing in third. And in the Young Adult Male, we saw Brennan Ramsey finish in first place in three of the four events, securing the World Championship. Lucas Homan in second, and ben Benjamin Rocklitz in third. One more wave to go. We have the teen female and young adult female coming up next. So stick around for that. I would take a gander that will be coming up at about 1.30. So go get lunch, go get a snack, go get something to drink, because we still have a little bit more Tier 2 championship action coming your way after this.
Flow course. I'm Alex Cunningham joining you. Not physically from Austin, but uh, commentating as the action occurs in Austin, Texas at Austin Ninjas. Big fist pump for one of the Austin athletes, Alexandria Shelton. Our first runner. A minute and a half to take on this flow course. As she begins on the shrinking steps. Rope to Spider. There we go. A lot of uh, this action occurring remotely as we test out some potential uh, future possibilities to improve our uh, production values for future events. Through the Rope to Spider, athletes do get the spider walls and the rope if they so choose, and Alexandria just wasn't comfortable doing the usual spider walk, so she used the rope. Can't blame her for that at all. Again, this being a flow course, you only go until you fall, so very important that you complete the obstacle ahead of you. Holds up next. Nice and smoothly through, although her time is starting to run down. Finishes that, and with 22 seconds left, still plenty of time to complete the spinning long. She stares it down and is through. Does she have enough time to defeat the ascending bar to slide her down to 10 seconds? The light's going red there in the building. You can see that flashing light indicating to the athlete that they're running low on time. And unfortunately, Alexandria will not be able to complete the ascending bar in time. She would have hit the touch point if she had enough time, but unfortunately running out of time there. Still able to complete five of the seven obstacles. Very solid performance from her. Next up, Lumi Rivera. I can't tell what's on her shirt. And I don't want to misreport it. It looks like she has a ninja name. If you know what that ninja name is, let me know in the comments. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, out in the universe. As Lumino slips off of the rope. Ah, tough break there. Lumi's only going to get it one point for this course. However, she does still have the full course remaining, and we can see a little indicator of how well she'll do on that full course as she rocks through the holds and glides across the spinning log. Easily through the dipper. Just going to show what she is capable of achieving. But that is the breaks in Ninja. Sometimes you're much better than the result indicates. As she glides through even more holds that... I'm, I'm not being sarcastic there. It's literally the name of the obstacle. But she finishes the course. She'll go back into the shop, figure out what happened, and... Take on the full course in just a few minutes. Campbell Brown, our last team female, will be the flow course. Bit of a smaller wave here, but Campbell joining us from Rise at the Warehouse down in Houston, and she is right through the shrinking steps. She's going to do the regular spider technique. And just through that quickly. We've seen a lot of athletes. Oh, look at that! I was going to say we've seen a lot of athletes static the first two flywheels, but she stacks the third as well. That sets her up very nicely as she makes her way through holds. Again, not being sarcastic, that is literally the name of the obstacle. Through the spinning log. And that should put her in first place for the flow course. Pops up to even more holds. 
She wants to get the full clear here on the flow course. But not able to get the ape trainer. Tough break. Still, though, completing six of the seven obstacles. That will put her in first place for the flow course. Take a look at the overall standings. She's been in first in every event so far and has clinched the world championship. So congratulations to her ahead of time, but still the flow course to go. We'll see if she can get the four for four and see if she can get the full clear on the full course. Hi, Coach Lulu. Coaching up our next athlete, Madison Campbell, as we are flying through these flow course runs. Shrinking steps, taking her time through. Understandable. Now climbing up to the spire. It looks like she's also going to be using the rope here. Now using the spider walls and grabbing the flywheel. That's the touch point. Just have to touch that flywheel to complete rope to spider. She's also going to static and we'll see if she statics or jumps this last one. It looks like she's going to jump it. And she's got it. Eyeing up the dismount. Has the dismount as well. Making her way to the holds. Trying to get a hold of that jug. Now, that is pretty lippy. So a lot to grab onto there. However, th that will tip down on you very easily. So you do have to be careful. Now onto that egg hold. And not able to get off of that. It's so tough when you grab an egg or a cannonball like that with two hands. It just kind of means that you don't have the object behind you uh, to build up a swing. And she kind of got into no man's land as she is starting to run low on time. And I think her time just expired. Missing the pumpkin. Gonna go hit that buzzer, though. She completes three obstacles as she still has her full course coming up next. And Coach Lulu will also be in charge of our next athlete, Catherine, Catherine Gerling. That one was on me. It's not a hard name to pronounce. I can't tell if uh, Catherine is out of Austin Ninjas or if she's just being coached by Coach Lulu. Her shirt says, I am strong. Yes, you are, Catherine. Now let's see her put that strength to the test as she deftly moves across the shrinking steps. And quickly through the spider walk. Gonna touch that first flywheel to get the point. And going to static. I imagine she's gonna jump based on her swing. She's got it. And finishes. Onto the holds. Gonna get a little bit of chalk from Coach. I'm the very front of the uh, jug hold. But it's working for her. Now needs to find that dismount. She's going to skip the nunchuck and dismount halfway through her course, halfway through the time limit. Spinning log now quickly through. Don't spill over there. And I think she touched the post, which disqualified her on ascending bar to slider. And she's going to tap out there. And yeah, I think that's uh, what Lulu's telling, uh, telling her. And it looks like this is a Strive athlete. Is that Strive? Yes, Strive Ninja Fitness. All the way up in the uh, Boston area, up in Massachusetts. It's Caitlin Fitzhenry, our next athlete. After her, we'll see Nicola Wolf. 
and then we will give our athletes a little bit of time to rest before their full course run. Caitlin underway. Getting right through the shrinking steps and up to rope to spider. A little bit of trouble here on the rope. Really got to lock her feet in, I think, if she's going to climb any higher. She does have that knot below her. And I wonder if spider walks just aren't something she is comfortable with. Maybe I ought to just think about going down the rope. As the rope needs to get her feet locked in. There we go. And I imagine at this juncture she's going to be using the rope through. Maybe just needs to get uh, some stickier shoes. Looks like her feet are sliding a bit. There we go. Starting to make her way through. Might just be going for the... Th thinking about it and going to go for the spider walk now. Now you really want to... Yeah. Just got caught up there. On that obstacle, you really want to move your hands together and your feet together. You really can't move one foot at a time. You really need to uh, get your feet locked in. And part of that is, you know, how good your shoes are and traction. But a lot more of that is how much you're able to you know, push outwards with your legs and keep your feet locked in. It's like Caitlin not able to complete the spinning log there either. Running out of time before attempting ascending bar to slider. Tough break there for Caitlin, but she still has her full course remaining. Nicole Wolf, our next athlete, but to finish my thought, you really want to get your feet locked in and then kind of push out with your hands and then move both of your hands forward. And then same idea with your hands, keep them locked in as you put, as you kind of swing forward and lock your feet in ahead of your hands. Repeat that movement. Nicola, yeah, see, see how Nicola's doing it? Keeping your hands ahead of your feet and then moving your feet, moving both hands at the same time. Quickly through the flywheels, this is one of the fastest we've seen so far on the flow course. And through the holds as well. She's got the spinning log ahead. And through that. So she pops up looking to get a full clear. I don't think we've seen a full clear in this wave yet. I don't have it. Gets her feet behind her head. That is crucial. Didn't have a lot of momentum into that pumpkin. And starting to get into no man's land. Getting her feet nice and high though. Big kick. You can see these hold, those first two holds uh, have uh, two points of pivot. Makes them swing a little bit less, but she is through even more holds and through the entire course. Nicola Wolf, a full clear. And taking a look, she is also mathematically secure at the World Championship, having come in first place in all three events so far. So congratulations to her. Take a look at our warm-up area, I guess. All right, here you um, go. We will head over to the flow course in just a bit. Stick around for more Tier 2 Championship action.
Welcome back. It is time for the full course. As Alexandria accidentally stepped down on the floor there, she's up first. Uh, what's happening here is that our uh, athletes are doing the full course. Each obstacle counts in isolation. So you want to clear as many obstacles as possible, and you want to clear each obstacle individually as fast as possible. Looks like our teen and young adult female athletes are going to be doing the right side of the cliffhanger. Uh, we saw the adult and master's male athletes doing the left side a moment ago. So a little bit grippier. Less uh, up and down movements, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more clears than we saw in the previous wave. Up and down Lachey's is next, though. We'll see if Alexandria is able to get out there. Mm, just a little bit. Sh uh oh. Oh, she got a rip. She got a rip, yeah. Of course, these athletes have been using their hands quite a bit today. Thankfully, doesn't need that hand on the controlled balance, and now we'll see how much she's able to fight through in this last minute, which to her credit is quite a bit. She needs to get up there. Yeah, the she was right at the... Uh, fulcrum of that spine. And as she was swinging up, the spine was kind of swinging down on her. And she takes a deep breath, trying to complete the sideways laches. And she's going to go for the sideways. 20 seconds. Not able to get there. I wonder if that's... Uh, Something that she hasn't tried out before. Tier 2, of course, our uh, introductory set of competitions for ninjas. Just beginning their ninja journeys. As she is going to run out of time before she's able to do propeller bar. Still hits the button, though. Completing three obstacles. And, uh... Yeah, so a lot of these athletes here at the World Championship of Tier 2 may be the Ducky Ninja, I see. Maybe trying out um, some obstacles that they haven't done before. Oh, because it looks like a duck. I see. I couldn't figure out. I thought that was like a... I don't know. I don't know what I was saying that was, but I thought that was like the car thing that says uh, like empty to full or whatever. I thought maybe that was a... I don't know. You guys can see it more clearly than I can. I'm looking at a small screen. Uh, Lumi Rivera is evidently the ducky ninja. As she is making her way across the cliffhanger. Through that, and on to up and down Lachey's. Paying the first lache. This one is a little bit higher up, though. She's got that. And she is through the lachets, moving on to balance. Just a minute into this full course. Two and a half minute time limit for our athletes. And Lumi looking very controlled and relaxed through this course. Let me add a slip up early on the flow course, but is getting an uh, exacting quite a bit of revenge. Pulling up to that you hold and the spine drops. So now it's just across from here. 51 seconds remaining. Trying to get the dismount, and she's got it. 35 seconds on to sideways Lachey's. 
Gonna go for the sideways technique. And yeah, she tried a 180 in midair. That was interesting. I haven't seen that before. 20 seconds, though. Still enough time to complete the propellers. She's able to get to this second one, and she swung a little too far. She can reset, though. Up, uh, there we go. Getting a swing around. Second attempt, and knocks it away. Lumi completing six obstacles. Well done to her. As we head to Campbell Brown, coming out of Rise, down in the Houston area. Kind of similar equipment to what they have here at Austin Ninjas. Perhaps she's come here for a competition before. But Campbell is underway. You saw her just barely miss out on a flow course clear, and she is motoring through these first few obstacles. Putting some of the adult guys to shame with the way that she is flying through this course. Nice swing and a nice dismount to the up and down Lachaise. And a link. Can she finish the links? Yes. Link through the whole, whole thing. Great work. And nice and controlled through the controlled balance onto the tilting spine. Only 45 seconds in. Pulling up to that V hold. That causes the spine to tip down. Careful, watch. Just uh, caught that right hand in an early dismount, as we've been seeing most of our competitors do. So six obstacles and a minute and change remaining. Onto the sideways laches. Able to get the second one. Uh, but didn't commit to the lache on that third one. Minute left for the propellers. Able to get the second one and the ring. Dismounts, having completed seven of the eight obstacles. A fantastic run. She's going to be an athlete to look out for in the future, for sure. <laughs> so we head from our teens to our young adults, as Madison Campbell is up next. Big smile on her face. That's what we like to see. Staring down the box pushes and the time starts for her to begin. Gonna kind of go for the pole vault technique. And she's through. On to ring slider to double steps. Again, not so much the ring slider portion. They decided to just go for the bar. And our competitors haven't had much trouble with that obstacle yet today. But it is the second obstacle, so. Yeah, all is fair. On to the cliffhanger now. Nice 90 degrees. It's starting to straighten out now. Still a couple of ledges to go. These ledges do have a little... Some of these ledges have a little bit of a grip. The others don't, but they are about uh, two inches in thickness, if I had to guess. Dismount and didn't cross the plane. She beat the whole rest of the obstacle, just couldn't get the dismount, and sometimes, uh, sometimes that's what gets you. So hopefully she can shut out that frustration and move on to the up and down laches. She makes the first one. And that is the key to completing full courses. Now, if you don't complete an obstacle, you still have the ones in front of you. 
Careful that you don't overshoot the platform. And she has done an excellent job of that, having completed up and down the chaise, moving on a controlled balance. 50 seconds. And this one is tricky. Going sideways, kind of a karaoke technique. Finding the block and dismounting. Well done. 28 seconds, not enough time to complete the entire course, but enough time certainly to complete tilting spine and holds. She jumps out to the wheel actually right in the middle and pulling up to the V hold. 10 seconds, does that, ah, and she loses her grip. Not gonna have time for the rest of the course. And that is going to be a wrap, completing four obstacles. Well done to Madison. Congratulations to her for all her hard work this season. Three more athletes left in this wave. As Catherine Gearling is our next athlete. Now the adult and masters females are working on their skills right now. They'll be running the course in just a little bit. So stick around right here to... Tune in for that division. Now moving on to Catherine on her full course, quickly through the box push. And right down the double steps. And use that last one to pull her into the dismount. Cliffhanger now. And she slipped off. I think she was trying to bite off a little bit too much there. She was skipping a rung, and that kind of came back to haunt her. Although, tried a link, and then didn't commit to it. So Catherine, showing great strength. And great technique here on controlled balance. That beam has hardly moved. So she has definitely shown a lot of promise here today. And of course, that's what Tier 2 is all about, getting beginner and intermediate ninjas that crucial competition experience, making the Tier 1 competitions more accessible in the future, really building the next generation of ninjas. Just can't get up to that hold, though. Let's see if she's able to complete sideways laches. Minute left to do so. Checking her hands for rips. Checking the clock also. Now here we go. Just coming up a little bit in front of that second board. But enough time to get her fourth clear on bar propellers and ring. I'm gonna skip the bar it looks like and go straight out to the propeller. Swing over the second. Got it. Can't she hang on? No, just grabbing the very tip of the edge of that propeller and not able to hang on. Great run, though, from Catherine. Hopefully we will see her again in the future as she continues her ninja journey. Caitlin Fitzhenry coming all the way from Strive Ninja Fitness up in Massachusetts. She, had a, she let a quick smile escape and now is all focused on her run. Two and a half minutes has begun. Tips over from the start line on that box push and gets a run out to that one. And I think she slipped right on the edge of the platform. Making her way up to ring slider to devil steps. Again, not so much the ring slider, just a bar. Making her way down the devil steps. Devil steps really teaching campusing technique. Really helpful for a lot of younger athletes, and especially newer athletes, as well practicing 
moving up and down, and then eventually we get to stuff like uh, the tilting spine rig later in this course, where that movement really comes in handy. And Caitlyn, to her credit, is about to beat the cliffhanger, and she's got it. So we haven't seen a whole lot of athletes beat the cliffhanger today. Caitlyn is going to be one of them, though. Now building up a swing for the up and down Lachey's. Gets the second. Up to the third. And now down to the fourth, where she will find her dismount. Her third straight completed obstacle, looking to make it four here on controlled balance. And this would be great redemption, having a slip up on the first obstacle. But that is the beauty of the full course. You can have a slip up on the first obstacle. It doesn't really matter that much because you have all of the obstacles ahead of you to complete. I know a lot of, especially younger athletes, prefer the full course format for that reason. Ultimately, a matter of preference. Uh, athletes getting to try all of the different types of formats here this weekend. Obviously, the flow and full course, but also skills. There was a challenge skill and a traditional skill over in the skills section. I don't think Caitlin's going to have time to complete sideways laches, which is going to give it a go anyway. Time has expired. Still going to give it a go, but has run out of gas. Congratulations to Caitlin. And good sportsmanship to Nicola Wolf, who is our last runner in this wave. Nicola looks like she's visualizing what's going to take for some of the obstacles on this course. about ready to begin and I kick over the box interesting strategy and she's through to the devil steps and she's through that as well being quick work of this course so far Can't tell what facility that is on the back of her shirt. Into something. Jumping out to the second bar. Grabbing the third and linking the fourth. She's completed four obstacles halfway through the course as she is on to controlled balance. And she is very controlled. Finishes up and moving on to the tilting spine and holds. Powering up through those V holds. Might be skipping that last wheel. She does. She's six for six so far, looking to throw down a full clear. Would be a huge exclamation point to her performance this weekend. Building up a swing. Making a nice sideways grab. Still loads of time. Making a nice sideways grab again. Just needs the dismount. And she's got it. Seven for seven. And grabbing backwards on their propellers not seen this before but it's working and she's got the ring she's got the dismount and she's got the full clear well done to nicola nicola i'm totally sure how to pronounce her name but uh i know how to pronounce world champion and that is what she has become today congratulations to her That concludes the teen young adult division.
We will have adult and master's female coming up in a little bit. Stick around. Can make some I mean, if you, I mean, like, physics-wise, but if you're coming down...
All right, everybody, welcome back for the last five competitors of the weekend. We have the adult and masters women running right now. Starting with the first one, we have Laura Pine. Through the shrinking steps, now she goes on to Spider Walk. Thinks about using the rope, trying to reach it. There, she gets it. Making her way across. Going through. Reach out and get the point for the flywheels. Yes, she does. Moving on over. Ah, oh, slips off. You know, setting herself up for the, for the holds. Ah, just slips off. Now time to try the spinning log. Oh, so close. Just feared off a little too far to one side. Oh, she's gonna go run, hit the buzzer. Good run, Laura. Next we have Kendra Nierkanen. Sounds Finnish. Here we go. Drinking steps. All good. Getting ready for the spider walk. Goes using the rope. Right over the flywheels. Too much storage. Going to one side. Makes it a little easier to reach. One more. There she goes. Nice work. Ooh, good save. Running a little low on time, but let's see if she can make it through this. Onto the holds. <laughs> Sits right back down on the starting platform, her feet touched. She might have to go fit. Oh, she's trying to do it. Oh, she walks across it. First one today. Ah, uh, good run. Okay. Alright, next we got... Jana. Jana. Hold a sec. She got first in both the skills. So she's... She has a good course right here. She's looking at a good shot at winning the title for the adult women. Across the shrinking steps. Over the ropes. Using that back leg for leverage. Switching. 
Trying to see what works best. It goes. About to reach over onto the flywheels. There we go. Reach there. One more. Go for this mount. He sticks it. All right. Just over 30 seconds left. Let's see if she can be the first one today. Beat the holds. Remember, big pull back so that way you get more momentum going forward. Go later. Reach over the top. There you go. Go, Sam. Dismount, she makes it. This one today. She's in first place right now. Let's see if she can beat this spinning log. Has to go quick, quick feet. Alright. Time expires right as she gets onto the pipe coaster, but good run. Last in the adult division is Kathy Ellen Davis. <laughs> Seen that shirt before. I think it's from Nova Ninja. I think that's a gym. I'm not sure where actually. I think it, somebody in the chat might need to uh, correct me. Or I can look it up really quick. Let me see. Yep, I was thinking it was in Virginia, if that makes sense. No, but Northern Virginia. I've seen a couple of them from there. You see them travel out here. On to Spider Walk. Get a little closer. <laughs> Asking for a real clarification. <laughs> you reach out. Her <laughs> back foot slipped. There, she gets the point for the clear. In a long time. Let's see if she can do this, these flywheels. One more. Go for that dismount. Set yourself up. For the time. Oh, one extra swing. She gets the point. Just in time for only a half a second. Nice work. We have one 40 plus woman going right now. The Masters. Natasha Jaskovic. Automotive. South Carolina. Coming through the shrinking steps. Nice work on the spider walk, choosing not to use the rope. Right into the flywheel. Ooh, single handing it. Ah, uh, I think she used it to try to. I think she used it to try to, like, help her land, because sometimes they allow it if you. Uh, use the post kind of if you're already leaning in that direction, but if you're like trying to keep yourself from falling, I think that's when it, it's kind of a close judgment call thing, but it happens from time to time. 
through the spider. Or not the spider. I was looking at the wrong thing. Through the spinning logs. I was looking at the graphic. <laughs> anyway, climbing up onto the pipe coaster. Oh, and she catches it spinning around. Wow. I think she's so surprised. <laughs> I think she's shocked. That's impressive. Pretty much caught that spinning around. Can she make this little hop here? Yeah. I think they're going to let her finish this off. One more pull. Ah. Oh. Great run. Nice work. I think we're gonna have a brief stop down, and then these five ladies will be running the full course. Be back in a couple minutes.
All right, everybody, welcome to the last five runs of the championships for four adult women and one master's one. We'll take on this full course. It's a bit longer than the uh, full courses we've seen. It takes a bit more upper body. So, see who can... Oh, just trips off the stop art line. Got a little caught off guard. Alright, moving okay. over to the devil steps. Reaches for the top one. Okay. I can't quite get the reach that she wants. Needs to shift, the, shift that weight over. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think hand, I don't think feet are allowed. All right, now for the cliffhanger. Quite feeling it with the grip there. Now for the laches. Ah, not just, not quite. There, now under the balance. Now, <laughs> she just, I, I, that was close. I feel like she could have probably kept trying, but I think she wanted to just not waste too much time and move on to this one. This is loud. I guess it is. Some ingenuity here. And then you only need to get to that one. And then you can swing and you can land. Yep. Yeah. One more. She makes it. Oh. <laughs> I guess she wants to try the propeller bars. Oh, just slips off of there. Good work, Laura. Four more runners left. Alright, this is Kendra Nierkinen, kicks the box over, lines up the jump, and makes it. No problem. After the bar shimmy over the devil steps. Going on the back side. One more, and I think she can make it. There we go. Nice work. Now for the cliffhanger. Can I? Do I have to pay for it? Can I do it real quick? Doesn't 
Oh, Jess misses her hand placement. Now for the Lachaise. Makes the first one. Not quite. Balance. Slowly. Carefully. Almost there. And beats it. for the tilting spine. If I guess, yeah, this is in play. Oh, it just slips off. Alright, two more. In the front facing approach that we've seen a lot. Oh, just peels off, losing her grip. One more obstacle. Finish off strong on the propeller bars. Uh, time's running out. Got a shimmy over reach. Ah, I can't quite make it. It's the buzzer. All right, so we got three more runners. Shana Polasek is up next. We got first in full skills and low course. So she has a strong run here. I think she'll pretty much secure first place. Here we go. Box push right into it. Nice work now. Second obstacle. Just the bars and devil steps. Jimmying through, hand over hand. Goes on the back side of the devil steps. One more, and I think she'll make it. Yep. Nice work for the cliffhanger. Match with the other hand. There we go. A couple more ledges. Match with the other hand. Now for the dismount. You make it. Get off of there. Don't let your grip slip. And she makes it. All right, two minutes left. We are on to Lachaise. Me. One more. Catch it and feet on the block. Just catch it and feet on the block. It's there. It's there. 
and dismount. It's out of Rise in Houston. Coach right there. Slowly on through the balance, she has a clean run so far. She makes it. Jumps out to the middle to minimize the tilting. Good technique and strategy. Now, Sessa so get over that wheel, and the rest are kind of just slightly more precise monkey bars. This this part, pull back and dismount. You'll have it. There it is. All right, two obstacles left. Clean run so far. I have time to beat this. Just to go right away. Going for the sideways. Ah, not quite. Quickly over to the propeller bar, see if she can't make it. Ah, time up. Good run. Beat the first six obstacles. That should do it for her. Get first place. We got Kathy up next. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Juniper. Hi, Papa. Saying hello. Camera. Here we go. Is it over? Makes it. Second obstacle. Jimmying on through. Here we go. Now get your grab. Grab it. Good job. This is your skill. Now through the scent. Got this. Nice work. Let's hang her. Nope, she. Tactical. That, that's the thing with uh, full course, you can be kind of tactical with it. You're running a little low on time, and you, some people choose to just skip an obstacle, have a better shot at beating a later obstacle. It's the first cliche. The second, she does. Third, and dismount. Nice work. Balance. Not too long, much longer. And jump down. He gets it. Let's see if she does the the hands and feet technique everybody's been doing this way. Like get up there. Oh, she reaches for it. Tilts down. Good work. One more crab. There you go. Hey. Yeah. About to get 
easier. Good job. Get turned around. Yeah, you got it. Yes, Good job, you. Kathy Ellen. You, yeah, you can. Good job. There. Send it. Just the dismount left. And she gets it. How much time left? Time to get up. Yep, oh, she's gonna go for the propeller. <laughs> oh, I get that point. Ah, time up. Good work. Ran out of time there. Alright, last runner of the day. And the weekend. <laughs> Natasha had a very, very good run uh, in the flow course. Actually got caught the pumpkin after the pipe coaster spinning. Right into the box push. Moving right along. Quick pace. Lord of the Devil steps. <laughs> you heard her. See, I think cliffhangers are the best. But I guess when you're on it. Yeah. Alright, time for Lachey's. Really quick pace so far. On to the next Lachey. One more to go. Got it. All right. Still over two minutes left. She gets it. And drops, just has to reach over and then get to the next two wheels and dismount. Looking smooth so far. Oh, hangs on when it drops. Get that foot over there, get to the dismount. There she goes. Alright, over a minute left. You could get a full clear here. See how relaches are. Or sideways relaches, rather. Ah, oh, I get surprised her. It's coming like right at you, especially when you're going sideways. It's kind of weird. They have really quick reflexes. Anyway, we are on to the last obstacle. And she goes seven for eight here. Uh, spinning. It's hanging on though. Gotta reach out. Oh, she grabs it. Can she? Can she hang on? One handing it. <laughs> wow, nice work. <laughs> nice job. Plenty of time to spare. Seven for eight. Great way to cap off a great weekend of action from the Tier 2 Championships. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Philip Scott. And, uh, yeah, see you around. Plenty of comps coming up.